You probably don't know this, but you might see some tears running from my eyes, and that's happening for two reasons today. One, I was just cutting onions and helping out with dinner, and two, I just broke one of my favorite glasses on the floor. You see, when you have a bar set up such as this, and it's sitting on top of a milk crate, but the table itself is a little bit bigger than the milk crate, you're bound to run into some issues. So note to self, when you're moving the table around, don't have glassware on it. But it's okay, no worries. I'm gonna put glassware on it again, because I have more faith in myself this time, and if it breaks on camera, well, the show must go on. Um, it's okay. Um, my lighting setup doesn't seem to be very good for this, but we're gonna deal with it for now. We're gonna make it work, and it'll be just fine. Let me put Graveyard Keeper music back on. There, we go. Everything's, everything's perfect now. Nothing is broken. Well, things are broken, but it's been cleaned up. Anyway, we're gonna... Hi, everybody. My name is Cameron. We're starting out with a cocktail this evening, because... Why wouldn't we? It's It's been a good week so far. Actually, it's been a pretty lackluster week. I'll be honest. There are some things I've been wanting to work on at work, and... Not I'm really sorry, happening. Am I boring you? Oh, no, no. No, you're not boring me. I also have a visitor as well. Mm, our friend and family. Meatball girl. Christina oh. herself is uh, visiting. Come over here. Come over here. I have to She's happily cooking dinner right now. Oh my god, the spicy Italian just got to transfer the sausage. Well, indeed. Oh, the lighting is not good here. We're fixing that. We're fixing that. In any case, starting things off with a cocktail recipe as my lungs begin to slowly but surely burn because the spicy Italian sausage is currently being cooked. <laughs> oh my god. It's really in there. But I'm glad that my eyes aren't tearing anymore from the onions. Everything is okay. Anyway, the cocktail recipe that we will be creating today to start things off all happy-go-lucky-like is the Paloma. I thought this was a pretty common recipe. I was apparently incorrect. I cannot find the Paloma in any of my books anywhere, so I've got the power of Google on my side to showcase the recipe for you all this time. You checked one book. I checked two books, actually. You have, like, ten. And I know the Paloma is not in some of them. I have a working knowledge of the books in my collection. I have little faith that the other ones have the Paloma inside of it. In any case, this one calls for tequila, grapefruit juice, wedges for garnish apparently, sparkling water. Oh, I didn't take the sparkling water out of my- Oh, it called for sparkling water specifically. I thought it called for club soda. Excuse me. I need to go get club soda. I also need to get ice. You know what? I'll be back in a hot second. I need a couple of things. Excuse me, uh, club soda time, club soda time. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, the spicy Italian sausage in the air is even worse over near the actual stove top. Yeah, because you're like, <laughs> there's a small kitchen. Not even the, fr the freezer can save me now. It's that bad. But it's gonna taste it's, delicious. It's not that bad. It's gonna be delicious. I might need more sparkling water. Yeah, I'm gonna substitute club soda because I don't have any I other sparkling water. I should have found more sausages. They said more at least I got sausage. the wrong thing, apparently. In any case, we're gonna put that all in here. It's gonna be great. The first thing that we're gonna do to garnish our Paloma is to salt the rim a little bit. I, this is how I usually salt the rim. I really don't do this very often, so please forgive me for my amateur-esqueness. I'm just gonna like, put some agave nectar on a plate. Yeah, that's good. A little agave nectar on a plate. Then, I'm gonna, oh, actually that was not the way that I was supposed to do this. Hold on, I need another plate. Ha! I did this wrong. I need another one. <laughs> and now you got one? <laughs> it's so bad over there. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me turn the fan on. This is, this is necessary. This is... Oh, it's in my eyes! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, dinner is turning into be quite a spectacle. Dinner is quite the spectacle. Anyway, first step is I'm gonna take You're... these glass... It's gonna get... Oh my god, I forgot there was ice in the glass! <laughs> Well, excuse me while I void the ice for a hot second. My desk may get a little wet, but this is all worth it. I... Do you need any help? I don't need any help. I'm great. I'm gonna rim the glass. I mean, I'm just waiting it for it to cook, so I can help it. Agave nectar! Agave nectar with the glass! Gonna rim it just like that! That's gonna make the top of our glass sticky. Then what we're gonna do... Is I'm gonna fill another plate up with salt. And rim it with salt. Uh, I'll be honest, like I said before, I've never done this before. I'm very... It's amateur hour. It always is. I put a little salt in there, and I'm gonna rim it. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of agave nectar. That's like dripping down. That's that's delightful. Anyway. Anyway, salty. Salty, salty, salty. 
Salty, salty, salty. Now that I have one salt rimmed glass, I'm gonna put the rest of the ice back into it. As it was always supposed to be. You know, the glass that broke earlier isn't technically cleaned up yet, and to be perfectly honest, it ki this ice kind of looks like glass. This is, this is bad ice. <laughs> nice. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other glass. I'm gonna rim it you, in you my agave nectar. Can opener anywhere? Can opener? It should be in that big container on the left side of the counter where all the other big spoons and stuff are popping out of. That or it's in the drawer. I will look. It's fun to be able to explain my organization system in the kitchen found to it. visitors. She found it! All is well. Anyway, salt, 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 salt. Salt that rim. Salt it, salt it, salt it. Now, I can be salty at the drink and not at myself oh, for yet it. again filling things. What's that? I've only used an electric one, so this is very. Oh, come over here! Let me open the can for you! I'm good! Come over here! I got it! Okie dokie! She knows how to do, in which case, we good. We let her do her thing. I don't need salt and agave nectar in this particular way anymore, so I am just going to put it underneath where nobody has to see it. Don't worry works. about it. Yes, this is how it works. I've got some agave nectar on my fingers. Hopefully I lick up the agave nectar and not the glass that I was picking up. Anyway, so for these ones, for the for this cocktail, we actually build we build it right in the glass. Why? I mean, because I have a visitor. Naturally, I am going to make two of them. So first thing that we call for is two ounces of Blanco tequila. I've got Bribon. It's the only one in my collection. If you have better recommendations, speak now, or don't. You probably won't, but that just means I've got the entire realm of possibilities for me to explore. Honestly, another popular answer is use a different spirit. Some people really don't like tequila. I'm not a big fan of tequila, to be perfectly honest. Not a big tequila fan. But, for the sake of trying things, and potentially getting a second drink myself, if the other visitor doesn't like it, I will use tequila! Just as the recipe calls for. I tend to like sweeter drinks. Oh, whoops. I've dropped my cork on the floor. I am a total freaking mess today. Hey, look, a piece of glass in that. I'm going to take that off and put it in my pants. Now nobody will have to know. We also need two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice. I worry again, so I'm going to take my glasses here and move them yet again so that I don't potentially break things and bring a different glass under the table where I'm going to juice some grapefruit. Um, I'd like to note now that this, this thing here is not big enough. It's not exactly big for a grapefruit, um, but we're gonna make it work. I also definitely grabbed the incorrect size knife for a grapefruit, but we're gonna make it work anyway. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. You can't drink it because you're over there. Or if you're under the age of 18, you also can't drink it for legal reasons. Let's see if I can open this grapefruit up just the way that God had intended. Around the side. How do you use this thing? Around the circumference. What are you trying to use? This! The can opener? Yes! Bring over the can opener! Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. show you how to do a can open. Try not to get tomato hey, sauce all over your setup. Grapefruit juice. If I get tomato sauce over the setup, that sounds like a tomorrow problem. Or a later on tonight problem. I am now gonna teach you all how to use the can opener. I'm sorry, the hot Italian sausage is still in the air, and that sausage is real deep in my throat right now. It's probably my aroma. Anyway, we put it on the side here. Squeeze it on in. Squeeze it, squeeze I, it real good and just kinda... I did that. Mm-hmm. Man, if it works, usually goes around pretty good. Usually. Usually. Pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Let's try the other side. This might... Nope, definitely not. All right, well, we all struggle with things sometimes. Come on, you stupid can opener. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stupid can opener. In any case, I'm going to struggle with this for a hot minute. Ah! Oh, other way, other way. Oh, yes! Oh, we've got it! Yes, we do! Can opener! I have opened your can. It is great. It is wonderful. It's open. Can opener. Here you go. Thank you. And next on Life Tips, brought to you by the man on the camera. Uh, I'm gonna juice a grapefruit. I'm gonna see how much juice I get from this. It's gonna juice it. I'm gonna do the juicy. I'm gonna uh... Do the juicy. And hopefully not completely destroy my setup again. So I'm gonna try to do this in the air to cause as little 
disturbance to everything as possible. I just, I don't want to break things again, guys. I really, I really don't want to break things. And now, raw pepper is going to be in the air. I like raw peppers. Raw peppers, I think, are better than the spicy Italian sausage. It's Every time I worse. think of something spicy, I think of that one TikTok where it's like, Why is it spicy? <laughs> and I don't remember exactly what the what the why was directed at. Like, I don't know what it was that was spicy that wasn't supposed to be spicy, but I always think of it. This is an eviscerated grapefruit. Um, I've been told from the internet not to put any part of your body that is a flabby appendage into the grapefruit. Don't do it. Just, just don't do it. It's bad for you. It'll hurt you. We don't want you to hurt. We don't want you to hurt. We want you to be okay. Ignore the coughing lady in the background. She's hurting, but... Not because she needs to. Well, actually, she, the girls gotta eat. Boys gotta eat. Boys and girls gotta eat. So we must suffer. We must suffer for <coughs> the the meal. Oh my goodness! Now I'm starting to sniffle. I think that onion's coming over here. How much well, grapefruit juice onion, do I have? It's, it's the um, spicy tomato that you thought was a good idea. The spicy tomato. Why is it spicy? I didn't do the spice. Oh, actually, that was my idea. We did go to the store, and I did do the spicy tomato. So I was, so, I was literally said, "Are you sure?" And you're like, "Absolutely." It'll absolutely. Be fine. Now I'm going to. You're suffering. I'm gonna put two ounces of my grapefruit juice in one of my glasses. Hopefully, I have enough ounce for the other one. Come on now. Come on, why don't you come out of there? Come on, come on out of there. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. Two ounces of grapefruit juice into one glass, and then time to painstakingly get the other two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> on the bright side, every single time I reach for the cocktail glasses, I get this nice sweet agave nectar on my fingers that I can just lick right up. It's great. Anyway, I apparently need to eviscerate yet another grapefruit. It's just just how it is. Just how it is. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna eviscerate some grapefruits. What did the grapefruits ever do to us? They didn't do anything to us. Chad, they didn't do anything to us, Chad. Chad, let me tell you something about grapefruits. You never mess with a grapefruit. You know what I mean when I'm talking about a grapefruit. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, you know, like Donnie. Donnie's a grapefruit. Donnie is a grapefruit. Like, literally. He's a, he's a grapefruit. You know exactly what I mean. Take my word literally. Donnie's a grapefruit. Your father's a lime. What does that make you? What is your mother? Your mother... Your mother's a hoe. Your mother was a That's hamster. Like you, Dilly. Your mother was a hamster. And your father was apparently a lime. So what does that make you confused? I would be. I would be very confused. God, why do grapefruits have to be so difficult? I'm not complaining. You're complaining. Right. This is going to be very satisfying. I, I assure you. This is going to be... The most satisfying drink you've ever had in your life, the Paloma. The only reason, actually, I bring up the Paloma was I was talking to another pal of mine, Pepper popped over the other day, and I don't remember how we got on the topic of a Paloma, but I was like, something, something, something reminded me of the Paloma. And I was like, I've always wanted to make a Paloma, but I just never did, because I usually don't carry grapefruits around. Don't ask me why. I just, I just usually don't. I mean, usually I do have them around, or I did have some for quite a while, and uh, well, it just, I just never used the grapefruits, and then I wound up losing all the juice. And uh, when you lose the juice, it's unfortunate. Anyway, two ounces, two additional ounces of the grapefruit juice. I finally, what, five minutes later, I have grapefruit juice now, and and I'm I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. So I'm just gonna. Mm, yeah, slash, slap it in there. There we go. Time to move on to the next ingredients. Um, put that, put these back on the table, because I'm confident again. And I want to taste that sweet agave on my fingers. Mm. As everybody knows, this is not a professional setup. We're doing this for funsies. I'm like really hot, because cooking's happening, and I'm still wearing my long sleeve shirt. That might come off later. We'll see. But in any case, show must go on. It's Wednesday, my dude. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Shut up. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Anyway, I also need two ounces of sparkling water. I don't know if I have a total of four ounces in here. We'll see. I'll take what I got. Actually, let's do like... Oh, no, I definitely got two full ounces. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Put that in the glass. And then put it, put it again in the glass. Two ounces of sparkling water. Paloma. Paloma, 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 Loma, 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 Loma. Where's the top of this thing? Oh, a hot Italian sausage just popped into my 
Do you feel the beer? Better put it in my mouth. Mm. That's a nice hot Italian sausage. It is really strong. That's a spicy hot Italian sausage. Like, a very strong one, too. We also need a half an ounce of lime juice. It's a good thing I also bought fresh limes from the store. I'm gonna open that container. Yeah. I think about a full lime will probably do us good here. Full lime would be good. Well, let's put the lime into the field of view. Oh, and I still have an extra grapefruit. That'll come in handy later on. Try to move these out of the way so I can get the cutting board in field of view of the camera. When did the agave nectar come in? Oh, that's right, that's right after. I was like, I have this agave nectar. Why haven't I used it yet? Lime. We've seen it all before. Half an ounce. That's about like... Like half a lime is like half an ounce? Maybe. I don't know. I could be very wrong on that. Let's find out with my juicer. I'm very haphazard with this today. I'm very haphazard with everything today. Today was not... Today had its ups and downs. Today definitely had its ups and downs. Both during the day and later on. Oh, I've almost got half an ounce. Oh my god, it's almost half an ounce. Alright, that's 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 half an ounce enough for me. I'm down with it. Let's put a half an ounce in one of our glasses. I'll do the one in the back. Hey Cameron. Yes, Christina! Do you have a do you have a lid for the nonstick skillet? Lid for the nonstick skillet? You're gonna have to look around in that one compartment. I don't think one's big enough for the entire thing. Oh boy. Oh, I gotta cut another lime. I might need your help then. With what? Continue looking. I promise you'll find something. I promise. I promise. I want to try the other lime. I need an additional lime. I need an additional lime. Fuck! Is everything okay over there? I'm trying to find a lid. It's okay. If you make a mess, then we shall clean it up another time. Wait. This might work. Yes. Go forth oh, and conquer. It's perfect. There we go. That's about half an ounce. There we go. Half an ounce. There we go. And like a little bit extra for the one that I kind of skimped on. We're perfect. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I still have another half of a lime. I am not going to use that. Or maybe I will. You know, our garnish game could be very strong today. Potentially. And now it calls for a quarter of an ounce of agave syrup. And uh, this one's satisfying. I just kind of like... You just gotta pour that in there until it's up to the quarter mark. That's so entertaining. It's like honey, but even better. Now, supposedly, I built this in the glass, but with the agave nectar, I'm starting to doubt whether it's actually gonna mix well. Because, like, it's syrup, and it would need to, like, integrate within the drink. I, I don't know. I'm just following the instructions this time. Let's see. I did that. And ice. Salt the rim, mix tequila, grapefruit juice, sparkling water, lime juice, and agave nectar into the glass. Fill the remainder of the glass with ice. Adjust sweetness to taste. Garnish with, garnish with a grapefruit wedge. We're gonna garnish it with a grapefruit wedge. It's what I got. It's what I've got over here. Don't judge me. I'm definitely gonna judge you. Everybody is judging me. I, I've always known everybody is judging me. I'm gonna try to make some wedge garnish with this grapefruit juice. Cameron Oven Mints. Oven mitts right above the right above the sink. I see it. Yes. Thank you. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to do as best a wedge as I can. So I'm gonna kind of cut in for the side. If anybody out there has advice on wedges, I, I'm listening. And then I'm gonna switch because this knife is not big enough. There we go. That's one wedge. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a wedge if I've ever seen it. I'm just gonna cut that right down the middle and just kind of like. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Actually, I'm gonna put the drinks in the foreground as best as I can. There we go. Drinks in the foreground. Drinks in the foreground. And I'm gonna try to do another wedge from back here. There we go. And I'm gonna put a lime wedge on it, too. I'm feeling... I'm feeling fancy. I'm feeling spicy today. And that may or may not be because of the, the burning hellscape that is the kitchen. That's it's spicy. It's spicy. Why is it spicy? And now I'll put another grapefruit wedge on. It's a lovely, it's a lovely day. Well, it's become a lovely day. And I'm gonna try to do some, <coughs> try to do some lime, lime too. I'll do the same thing, but with some lime. Did I put my phone over there? I do not see your phone. Oh wait, no, I found it. You found your phone, good, very good. All right, now 
I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of pop a little boop. I'm gonna put them to the camera so it looks beautiful. There we go. Although a little messy, but honestly, bars are known to be a little messy on, on, at times. We have presented the Paloma. And I think that actually looks kind of cool. It's not bad looking. They're kind of cute sitting next to each other like that. It's like, it's like Beauty and the Beast, except they're both beauty. And there is no beast, except the ones that we hide inside. And anyway, that's the Paloma. I'm gonna try, I need to put some things down. Putting some things down over here. Christina, I have a cocktail for you. Would you like to indulge? Sure. Come over here and let me uh, not showcase the disgustingness of my current bar setup. While we wait for the the patron, <coughs> excuse me. While we wait for the patron, I'm gonna do what bartenders do and like just centrally like rub the the thing. Oh look, another piece of glass. Don't worry. Centrally rub the glass. I'm centrally rubbing my bar. Nice. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Ooh. I do like it. Looks cute. I like it, I like it, I like it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Excuse me, I had to push something up. It's up there. It's up there now. Christina, would you like to try a Paloma? Sure. Paloma. Careful, your fingers are gonna get a little sticky. Ooh, salty. Sugar. Salty sugary. Here, hold on one second. I'm going to... Would you mind sketching that way a little bit? I'm going to move my actual bar off camera so that everybody can enjoy themselves the way that we intended them to. There we go. There we go. Now we can all share, share on the lights. We're working on things. Also, also too... I, can, I should probably get a chair. There's literally... This is okay. Um, let me go real quick and grab a bar spoon because I think this needs to be stirred. I'm gonna get a bar spoon. Na, 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 na. I'm gonna get a big one too. What are you doing? I'm gonna sit this down real quick and get my chair and mix, and mix the things that really burnt. Then I'll be ready to. There we go. I'm just gonna like. I can't really squeeze. I'm gonna like. This is what I'm doing. I can't really swirl all the way around because like I have a garnish on there, so I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't call for any stirring of sorts, but like. There is nectar in there. There is syrup in there. It needs to be stirred up. It needs to be agitated. That's what it's gotta do. That's what it's gotta do. <coughs> the spicy Italian sausage in the air is really getting to me. It, that immediately got you? It's getting me. Wow, this is like an explosive mm. gas. I am going to really enjoy that spicy Italian sausage when the whole thing was in my mouth. Christina, I have a cocktail for you. Come back here. Yeah, cocktail. Cocktail for you. Just making sure it wasn't burning. I'm putting okay. it on the side for you. Hi. The Paloma, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between and beyond. The Paloma, just as a recap, calls for two ounces of tequila, a Blanco if possible, two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice, plus some wedges for garnish, and a lime if you've got it. Two ounces of sparkling water, half an ounce of lime juice, quarter of an ounce of agave nectar or simple syrup to taste. If I used the simple syrup, this probably wouldn't have called for such such agitation with the spar spoon. And then you rim the glass with some salt and um, keep it on there with agave nectar. Kampai. Cheers, my friend. Kampai. 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 Compost. Kampai. 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 Paloma. I like it a lot. That's delightful. Ooh, I'll admit, I have never yet had a cocktail that has salt rimming the glass, but I'm so into it. Yeah, you just gotta find the thing that works for it. It's like, it's and a little... Like, fruits are salty as is. Salty, well, sugary, whatever. What, very what, similar. what fruit have you been tasting that's salty? Perhaps it's been, if it's been sitting by the sea, I, I, like I, a key lime. Or an entire grapefruit I've, that's I've just been sitting I've on the some, sidewalk. I sometimes mix salt and sugar up. Well, I mean, supposedly, you, you know, if you're eating like a grapefruit wedge, you could put a little sugar on there, you could put a little salt on there. So it works. It works. It's like, it's a very watered down flavor because of the seltzer water in there, which, uh, yeah, yeah, because of the sparkling mineral water in there. So it's a little watered down, but like, it's not watered down in an unenjoyable way, kind of like watering down like your milk and your cereal or watering down your soup. It's not unpleasant in that way. Have you ever had 
water and milk cereal? I have, because I ran out of milk. And I was like, mm, it wasn't really what I had in mind. It wasn't very good. The one time I did that, I found it so unpleasant that I never did it again. Yeah, I'm not into that. No, into this, but not into that. That as being the, the milk and water thing, whatever. It's delightful. It's like, honestly, it's very grapefruity, but it's like a, it's like a light, it sweet grapefruit. It's kind of like, it, it's kind of like. It honestly just, it's like, it's like grape eat fruit juice with a, a tint of other fruiting, fruitiness that also has an alcoholic aftertaste. I'm getting like, it's almost as if you put salt on a grapefruit, bit into the grapefruit, but instead of getting like that, wow, I just bit into a grapefruit. It's just kind of like, huh. Grapefruit. I'm gonna have some more. I'm gonna eat some more grapefruit. The Paloma. I'm almost done with mine. It's a good one. But we only get one. And then we head on back to things. So. If I get real. If I get really bound. With. Bound with what? Uh, if I get like really e e bouncy or like happy, it should. You guys should know that I am a complete lightweight. Which means this will likely send me over the edge. Well, the only alcohol in here is the tequila, and it's 40%. So two ounces, 40% a piece. There's like 0.8 ounces of alcohol in there. It's not like that's like pure 100% alcohol. It's like, it's a shot. It's a sh There's a shot of tequila in it. Not too bad. It's very pleasant. I would recommend the Paloma. It's very, very nice. Thank you for joining me, Christina. How is dinner going, by the way? I wish oh. I could have helped more. Oh, I cut oh, up fine. some of the onions. I that. just I just have to um, mix it every five minutes. That's not bad. Yeah. Is it like what is it? it? You were cooking the Italian sausage, and there was some onion on there too, and all various other things. What exactly are you making? Skillet lasagna. I like lasagna. That sounds pleasant. It is literally in a skillet, and if you do it, and if you don't burn it, it is extremely easy cleanup. You know, what I just noticed mm. this whole. I feel like I just noticed how to fix the lighting over here. Hold on. I told you it was fine. That's better. But that's that's better for two people. I'm still feeling my way around lighting stuff, and in this case, it doesn't look like Christina's just like this ghostly mass in the background, like, Hello! Although I won't do that again, because I don't I'm like being in the shadows that much. You. In any case, thank you in advance for everything. The dinner is absolutely appreciated. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I we're do. splitting. We're kind of roommates now for a little bit while Anna's absent. So yes. it's nice. It's nice. Uh, we're kind of splitting the tasks. I did like all the dishes and the washing machine. Uh, oh, oh my, my, uh, um, oh my god, my, mm, mm, what do you call it? What do you call it? My kitchen sink is fixed. Yes. Everything is fixed. I can actually wash my clothes again. I'm very, very happy about that. It took four plumbers to do it. Somehow. I didn't realize a clog would be that difficult. It really wasn't. They were just kind of... I they think had, there I was think, like two people think, doing stuff, and then I, one was standing around. Like, I what's think, going on? Well, I think all the time. What I think was happening is that they were a team of four, just doing the entire apartment. They didn't need four people in here, but they were just kind of what observing, seeing what the yeah. issue is. Yeah. And that before moving on to the next room, that's probably why they were so long to come back, because probably more shit was happening elsewhere in the building. Yeah, supposedly, and this is something I learned as they came in, was that apparently there was a leak in the ceiling on the apartment below me, probably because there was water all over the floor a week before from my apartment. So, apartment A, I'm sorry, it was me. Your ceiling leak was definitely because of me. But nobody blamed me for it. I didn't have to pay extra for it, we're fine. It's right now. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful journey of cocktail-ology, mix-ology, cock-ology, tail-ology. That is the first time you said that. Cock-ology, tail. Cock ology tail. Sure. Anyway. It's time for your regularly scheduled It's it's Graveyard Keeper. I was gonna say regularly scheduled Cameron. I'm gonna readjust my lighting a bit because now it doesn't look as weird when there's just one person in the camera and we're tiny. I'm stuck in my little box up here. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with tiny box. I'm okay with tiny box. In any case. After some technical difficulties and a wonderful cocktail adventure, we're back into it. It's Graveyard Keeper time, yet again. I am going to try to bring the dead back to life today. 
How am I going to do that? Well, you're just about to find out. You're going to have to sit there and watch. Sit there and watch me bring the dead back. How dare you. I know step one starts with the resurrection table. So I'm going to go to the resurrection table. Oh, you know, apparently, uh, I think version... Uh, an update was just released. That kind of fixes some weird inventory stuff that I was experiencing last week. Thank you, developers of Graveyard Keeper. You are wonderful. Snaps. Snaps for you. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna go to my farm over here and pick up some maggots and compost and everything of the like. I think I just... I just put my... Um, oh my goodness, what do you call it? I just put the grapes where they need to be. So I don't think I need to go up there and deposit anything of the sort. I should be good there. Pete in here, crop waste, all that stuff. I've got some silver, we've got some polished brick, we've got... Oh, so many things. Oh, so many wonderful, wonderful things. But alas, we don't care about the wonderful, wonderful things that are blooming in our garden. We want to bring the dead back to life. Let's get morbid. Let's get morbid. Where's the other body? Does it... Now, I don't know anything about resurrection yet, but my intuition is that a really bad body is not going to be a good zombie. So I'm going to take the worst body that I have and test that hypothesis. Now, with the... Oh, I need 10? I need 10? 10 pieces of faith? I also need one zombie juice. I can get zombie juice. Hey, look at that. A body just arrived. And it's fresh. Oh, yeah. What do you get? Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I can see numbers now? I don't recall seeing the skulls with numbers next to them. Is that new? Like this stuff. Is that? I might be totally blind and completely forgetful, but that seems new to me for some reason. Huh. Interesting. Um, that's a, not a very nice body. I don't really like that. Nah, I'm gonna ignore it for now. I'm gonna just leave it on the table. I am gonna grab my zombie juice, which, as we answered last time, is not what you get when you juice a zombie. It's the juice that you must inject to create the zombie. How it's made, I think it had something to do with salt. I need salt for the zombie juice, I'm pretty sure. But I could be wrong. I would not be surprised if I'm wrong. I am a little forgetful sometimes. And, uh, you know, a little dense. A little dense. I've been saying that a lot recently. I have three zombie juice? Nice. Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna have to wait until Sunday, which just passed. I literally just missed Sunday. Should have been paying more attention. Gah. Can I, like, can I pass days faster? Can I just, like, skip to Sunday? Because I got a certain set of things that I want to do, and I do not have time to wait. I am, I am a man with a plan, and I do not feel like waiting for so long. Or, or, you know, we can do other things in the town. There are plenty of other towns folk who need assistance. But, um... You know what we could do? We can meditate. We could totally yeah. meditate. You're, yes, Christina! Depending on their... How much they... How much you attract... How much the Pikmin like you, they actually grow bigger. This is true! We're referring to the Pikmin Bloom app. It's actually quite wonderful. I still yet to see the exact goal of everything. But... I'm enjoying it. You plant flowers, you grow Pikmin of different colors. I just unlocked the purple guys. They're fat and lovable, and I sent one fat Pikmin to go off and get the seed of another fat Pikmin. So, the purple chunks, they reproduce asexually. They can, they're big enough to go grab another one of their own seeds, so you only need one. And I think that speaks great numbers to everything. So apparently this meditation tricks works. Uh, I'm almost to, I'm, I'm almost to, I'm still halfway through claw day. I could just sit here for a little while. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about life and think about things for a moment. It's back to one-on-one -on -one time. Hello, everybody. Let's think about what our life has become up until this point. Consider things. How was work today? Work was okay. I like to do a lot of the technical stuff, but one of our logistics guy is out. So, our logistics man is not here to make the logistics happen, and I hope he's doing okay. But I and another one of my co-workers have stepped up, because we were told to, to continue with the shipping work and doing some returns and whatnot. And it's cool, and I'm glad I'm helping, but like, it's not satisfying. Not for me. I'm happy to help out, and I do get paid for it. I actually got paid a day early! I got paid today! That's so cool! It was such a wonderful thing 
that uh, I decided to go to Wawa and purchase myself a premium coffee beverage, which basically just means coffee that didn't come from, like, my home. It's got sugar in it, it's got the syrup in it, it's delightfully delectable and just absolutely disgustingly sweet. But it was great, it was a caramel maple thing from Wawa, and I couldn't have been more happier as I completely scarfed that thing down in like a 20 minute span. It was wonderful. And I also bought for my coworker a strawberry mango banana smoothie? They wanted the pomegranate blueberry mango, but for some reason Wawa doesn't carry that anymore right now, unfortunate. And then I bought my other coworker just a banana. Actually, I bought myself five bananas. He didn't want the banana. He's like, I don't want your bananas. But I bought five, and I wasn't about to bring home five. So I brought home four and gave him one. I plopped it on his computer, and he was like, Thank you for the banana. And I was like, you're very welcome for the banana. I'm happy to provide you with this experience. And then somebody was like, yo, that's how you got to get your protein. And we were both just like, everybody knows protein doesn't come from bananas. It's potassium. Duh. And they were like, K. And we were like, haha. Ha. Because that's the that's the that's the sign on the atomic table. K is potassium. C is carbon. S N S is in Sammy. N as in Nancy is tin. And then what's the other weird one? S B S is in Sammy. B is in barnacle is antimony. I think, or maybe that's lead. No, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, it's Sunday. Let's stop pondering life for a bit and attempt to let's stop testing me on my my high school and beyond knowledge of chemicals and elements i did not major in that ask me about electricity i can answer those questions i am not prepared for elemental stuff anyway it's lord's day so we're gonna pray we're gonna pray to the elements we're gonna play, pray to the imaginary math that you have to do to make your modern day electronics work crazy things I'm gonna go downstairs and grab myself a little bit of faith. A little bit of faith, trust, in pixie dust? No, sir. Just a prayer. It's a pretty shitty one. It's a, it's that bronze. It's that copper star. It ain't so good. But we'll start praying. Oh, we're gonna pray real good. I really need to get, like, a higher level, like a higher star rank of that prayer. Because then I think I can get more faith. Because currently I need to breach a 10, like, church threshold. And that's, that's an insta-win. I instantly get, I think it's eight faith from this. I think I'll get a total of eight. Potentially more. We'll see. Um, I think I might get, oh, I hope I get nine. Oh, one. Ah, and two more. Okay, it's, it's nine. That's eight. I can't add. Ah. Well, at least I get some money, though. I still need one more, gosh, to bring the zombie. Actually, technically, wait, I have a zombie. Wait a minute. I just remembered. I have a zombie somewhere. I have to go find the zombie from last session. Where is he? Where is the zombie? I'm gonna take this faith with me. I might... We can use this later on. And uh, what can I do with this frog? Can I do something with the frog? I can't do anything with this frog. You are gonna hang in my basement. Thank you for your patronage. I had the frog. I needed the ceramic jug. And I need ash. That's what I was looking for last time, too. I need ash. If I can find ash, then I should be able to create the columbarium. I'll be honest. Columbarium does not sound like a real word. Crematorium sounds like a real word. Columbarium seems like I... This is a place. It's got columns. And this is where you bury them. You bury the columns of the columbarium. Like, that seems... Mm. But I need these, like... I need these ceramic funeral urns. And for that, I need the pots that I have. And ash. But I just don't... I don't know where to get ash. I would think that you would get ash from the columbarium by cremating bodies. But... I need the columbarium. I do not yet have the columbarium. How much, uh, how much gold do I have? I want to see if I can update, I can upgrade my church. Make it bigger. Make my church even bigger. I got 10 gold. I got 10 silver? That's got to be enough for a uh, building. 20? 20? I need 20 for that? 50 for that? You're kidding me. I hate that. I hate capitalism. I need money for capitalism. Actually, I guess capitalism's pretty good because when I have the money, that means I can make more money. Stock market, baby. I made $30 on Dogecoin. What can you say for yourself? I also missed out on the whole GameStop thing. The whole Dogecoin thing was just like, I had it sitting in there for months and then I was like, whoa, I made money on this. I'm gonna pull out now. That's uh, I feel like you can apply that whole methodology to a couple things in life. 
What am I doing? I'm running around. I need to find this zombie. Where is the zombie? The zombie is up near the vineyard. <clears throat> I remember. The zombie's over here. Yo, look at all this wood. Yo, I'm taking one of these back with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. My grapes are good. Now, sir. Sir. You. Take. No, put. Take. Put. What do you do? Okay. So, items to transport. There are definitely... Am I missing something? Maybe I need to, like, research zombies who can garden. Go zombies who can garden? Garden? Alchemy decomposer? Alchemy workbench? Wait, wait, wait. If I go to... Wait a minute. I go to the gardening section. Is it? Is it? What is bees? Bees? Zombie vineyard. Yo! Zombie vineyard! Oh my god! That's exactly what I'm looking for! I want the zombie to do my vineyard work for me! But I need more blue points. I am going to go grab more blue points. I need 13 more blue points. I will find the blue points. There is nothing stopping me from the blue. I am blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba die dabba dee ba dabba. Whoa, red wa- Now that I have all this red wine, I'm also going to attempt to find the blue points. I'm going to make more blue points. But before I make the blue po after I make the blue points, I am totally selling all of this wine. That's 20 pieces of Silver Star wine. You know how much that's going to sell for at the at the bar? They're going to be totally into this. Maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't really know. We're, we're going to have to see. Um notes. Let's make some notes. Crafting some notes. I'm jotting some things down. Blue points. Yep. Um how many of these? Oh, I have some gold notes. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Mm. I have a feeling that if I have more blue points, I might get better at writing. What is this? Crafted a random thing there. What is this? Perk writer, you know how to put words together. Sometimes you even manage to write a good sentence. Mother would be proud. That's a lot of blue points. I don't have enough blue points. That'll have to wait. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out eventually. But in the meantime, we shall continue. I've almost got 25. I need 25 blue points for zombie vineyards. The zombies will have their day. The dead will have their day again. They will. Because that's kind of how zombies work. They're, they're dead. I'm sorry if you thought zombies were alive in any way. Actually, technically, mm, zombies are undead. Are, you could argue that their souls are still there. We could argue that the souls of the zombies are still there. Are they, though? What kind of argument can we put together from that? I'm gonna need to see a five-page paper outlining whether the soul exists and that it can be present in the body. Well, actually, let's try to prove that. Let's try to prove that there is a soul inside of a zombie. First, we have to prove that zombies exist. That might be difficult. First, we have to prove <laughs> that the soul exists. That might also be very difficult. I don't get paid enough for this. We're gonna have somebody else do it. Actually, actually, come to think of it, most researchers don't get paid enough. So maybe because I don't get paid for it, that's exactly why I should research it. Hmm. That makes me think back to potential research opportunities that were offered uh, after I uh, finished up with college. Right as college was ending for me, one of my professors was like, Hey, I got a research position for you if you'd like. You can work in my lab. And I was like, that sounds pretty cool. How much does it, uh, out of curiosity, and I'm not trying to, like, haggle you for money, but how much, how much would I get paid for it? Because at the time, I was kind of living on some unemployment stuff, and I had an apartment to pay off, so I needed to make sure that if I was going to get a job, I would be able to support myself, my fiancé, and future visitors and guests. They were like, it's a government position, so it might not be what you're looking for. And I looked at the price there, and that would have been a net negative. I would have had to pick up a second job in addition to the 40, 60 plus hours that you'd have to work for research just to keep a roof over my head. Utilitarian analysis wasn't going to work. Just wasn't going to work. Well, now I've got the blue points, but I could have more blue points. How much do I have? I have 51. That's not enough for both of them, so... It is enough for some of it, though. Let's do Zombie Vineyard so I can have the zombies collect my stuff. Zombie Vineyard. Nice. And I'm going to do the inventing story because... 
I have hiccup grass. Put that in there. I am now going to construct or attempt to construct the zombie vineyard because I want these zombies to do shit for me. And then I'm going to make breathe, more zombies. What's that? It's still hard to breathe. Is it still hard to breathe? <gasps> A little bit. But we're getting there. Things are getting better. If the fan continues to run, we should probably be A-OK. -okay. And if we're not A-OK, -okay, then... Feels like another day's problem. Food in five minutes. I'll just probably. choke myself to sleep. Food in what? Five minutes. Awesome! Would you mind so dearly putting a plate together and bringing it over here? I was gonna do that anyway. Perfect! You're so awesome! I love it when you have roommates that care. That's not that. By the way, that's not to say that my roommates that I've had in the past didn't care. My roommates in the past were very care caring, but I feel like this is this is a good this is a good situation. Not the best roommate though. Gotta say, objectively speaking, not the best roommate. Yeah. My roommate, my last roommate in college, aside from Anna, she doesn't count, was literally never around. And that's probably the best thing that I could ask for. Just, it's like I was living totally on my own. Are you trying to tell me something? Get out of my house! I'm kidding. Don't get out of my house. It's okay. You can stay here as long as you need to. I was missing one plank. One plank, damn you. So I'm gonna go grab a plank. I don't have plank. I'm out of wood. I don't have enough wood for plank. Plank wood. Actually, can I make planks another way? Not from there, silly. I want to make the planks over here. Wooden plank from flitches. Yes. All I need is one. All I need is one plank. Yes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy grapefruit squeezy. Easy peasy lime squeezy. Easy breezy. Beautiful. Cover girl. <laughs> Knocked oh. my headphones off my head. <laughs> Let's build a... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna build a zombie vineyard. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, do I only get one vineyard pile with the zombie vineyard? This is... Mm, this is interesting. As we know, I do not know how zombies work. But we're slowly figuring that out. Dig a dig a dig a dig a dig. Dig, 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 dig. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. I'm gonna make some vineyards. Oh yeah, and I got zombies. Uh huh. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Zombies. I cannot speak. I my words are. You know, here's a little theater tip for y'all. Supposedly, if you can't articulate your words very well, you need to put your finger in your mouth, like, like this, and try to say things. So, let's try this. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. And then supposedly when you take your finger out of your mouth, it's a lot easier to speak things in an illiterate manner. Not illiterate, illiterate. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Anyway, I'm, I'm done with that. I can crap. Wait a minute, what is this? Zombie vineyard upgrade? Wait a minute, I'm... Um, can... Wait a minute. Oh, I put grapes in here? Oh, that's why. I put 12 grapes in here and then they will eventually become grapes? Oh, really? Grapes. Oh, but I don't have bronze grapes. I've got silver star. So I need to upgrade this with quality fertilizer one, which means I need to figure out how to make quality fertilizer. I'm gonna shit in the bucket. Is that quality enough for you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I know where to craft. I, I know where to craft quality fertilizer. Zombie? Do you have a name? Can I name zombies? Your name, because you have a pot on your head, will be... Potato. What, and what a good potato you are. I'm gonna take this wood back. I know I can craft fertilizer in the church basement, which will most certainly stink up the place. But to be perfectly honest, if the church ate a little bit stinky, is it really a church? Can we really think that the word, that the, the spirit of God, the highest, is really in this church if it doesn't smell just a little bit like the world beyond? I don't think so. I don't think so. No way. No way, Jose. No way, no way. I'm so refreshed. Well, good for you. I need to grab more carrot cutlets. I've run out of carrot cutlets. 
Take one, please. I want 25. Delicious. It's delicious. It's delightful. It's the lovely carrots cut up into small bits and cooked, maybe? I, I don't remember whether I put them in the furnace or not. Onward to the church basement. When we go to the church basement. Oh, wait a minute. You know, uh, I don't have enough faith. I need to wait till next Sunday. Then I can actually make another zombie. God, zombies are expensive. But it makes sense because it is free labor. I am most definitely exploiting those who are trying to rest. And for that, comes at a pretty penny. Comes at a very pretty penny. Isn't that one of the rules of, like, being a genie, according to Aladdin? Like, you can't bring people back from the dead. But does that include zombies? Are they really back from the dead if they're undead? I don't know. Unanswered questions. We should ask a philosopher or a psychologist or a biologist or some combination of the three. A psycho-bio... Psycho-bio... What was the other one? I forgot already. Psychologist? Biologist? Philosopher. Psychobio philosopher. Psychobio philosophy. I like that. It's got a nice ring to it. It's complicated, and I don't think anybody knows what it means, but it's ours. Quality fertilizer. I need growth enhancer. I'll show you a growth enhancer. But I need 10 of that. How many did I need to upgrade the farm? I don't know. I gotta figure out how to make growth enhancer. What do we think enhances growth? Um, slowing powder, acceleration powder, health powder, death powder, order power, electric powder, life powder, chaos powder. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't... How do I make growth? Maybe... How do I get more recipe? Actually, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe I should check here. Perhaps... Perhaps I should look a little bit further and see if I must research things. Anything about growth? Growth enhancement? Male enhancement pills? Can I can I get those yet? Female enhancement pills? What, what gets would enhanced? That even do? What would it? Now that I'm thinking about it. To all the ladies out there, those biologically, I mean, I'm not sure where you are on the gender identity spectrum, but you can be anywhere you want to. But to those who have Feminine parts! I have a question for you. Let's try not to make this awkward. What does a feminine enhancement pill do? Tits. I'm genuinely curious. Tits. But like, does it make the breasts harder? No. What does it do then? No need to share your thoughts now. I expect a five-page report by the end of the day. Or questionable DMs. I will not judge you. I did ask the question. I wrote this upon myself. Or, and here's another option. You don't have to say anything. We could just leave it to the imagination. Always a valid choice. Yeah, camera, stop being a creep. I'm not be- I was trying to be as little a creep as possible. Oh, look, somebody's come to confess. What's that? You were also curious about feminine enhancement pills? That's a sin. Ten Hail Marys. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus! I kind of know Hail Marys. I went to Catholic places, not Catholic school. I just got an extra faith. Whoa, I just got an extra faith. I have 10 faith now. I can make a zombie. Screw religion. We're bringing people back from the dead using science. Or perhaps it's actually not as scientific as we think it is. And we should be respecting the God above for the ability to bring those back from the dead. To give our loved ones a second chance. I don't know, dog. I don't know. I'm about to inject some liquid into this guy and completely zap them. Cannot resurrect. The body is rotten. The body's rotten. I'll show you rotten. The body's rotten. How about a fresh one? How about a fresh one? Wait a minute, what about this other guy? Wait, if I leave these guys on the table, do they actually go bad eventually? Yes, they do. Hmm. Somehow didn't realize that. <gasps> Thank you so much! I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit. That seems like a very hot, spicy Italian lasagna. Lasagna, yuck, yuck, yuck. Lasagna, nog, nog. I'm also gonna move my keyboard. I need space. 
and we'll need space for my fish. We'll move it over here. To everybody out there, remember, whoever... To whoever gives you the gift, do not look a gift horse in the mouth. Thank your kitchen horse today. Thank you, kitchen horse. I will never look you in the mouth. It's a really weird saying, but, you know, it, it exists for a reason, and I'm I never mildly that. okay with it. In any case, let us continue to bring the bodies back to life. We're gonna bring this body back to life, because it's still fresh, but it could be fresher. You know what? Let's make it fresher. Let's try to see if I remove... If I remove your heart, will you get better? Shall we extract the heart? Yes. We shall. All right, did you get your pet? Oh, that wasn't good. Can I put the heart back? I want to put the heart back. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, body. Did I make it worse? Okay, okay. We've recovered. What if I take out your intestines? Why? Does that make you a better human? It did make you a better human, but you still only have four positive skulls. So, let's put your intestines back inside. I am going to try to remove your blood and see if that makes you a better person. Does it? Yes, you are a better person now without the blood in your body. I always knew. I'm going to remove your fat, too. And see if that does good. Are you better? Yeah! Oh, you're even better now. I'm going to remove all of your flesh. <laughs> it's the logical next step. Okay, that didn't really help very much, so I'm going to put your flesh back in your body. Uh, graveyard Keeper, I can eviscerate bodies for capital gain. Oh, you know, actually, I just noticed my... Oh, my lighting's off. I just noticed that. My lighting is not pointing towards... There we go. That's why everything looks so shitty. I've done made a boo-boo. Anyway, so removing the flesh is not an option, but what if I remove your bones? Are you a better person now? You are completely unchanged. But I have bones now. What about your skin? That sounds disgusting. Let's remove it. Oh, I need more energy. Let's eat some cutlets. Mm. Are you better now? Mm, that actually made you a whole lot worse. So, let's... Oh! Oh! The surgeon's mistake happened. I made a boo-boo. Oh. I've made a mess of the body, lowering its quality. Can I remove that? I cannot. I have actually just made a mess. Nothing to lose now. I'm gonna take your brain out, too. <laughs> oh, there is- there is flesh on the ground. Can I not put that back inside? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a flippin' minute. I don't need bones. I don't even know what to do bones with. Destroy it. We don't need it. Can I put the skin back inside? Brain? Oh, the brain made it- oh, that made it so much worse. I'm gonna put your skin back on. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're not gonna worry about it. Skin goes back on. Yep, we're fine. Oh. Oh god, it made it worse. Oh jeez. Um, I'm gonna put your brain back. Oh god. I made things bad. I made a boo-boo. Are we okay now? Okay, we're back to five. We're back to five. I have made a little bit mess of the body. We don't have six anymore. The last step, the last chance is the skull. I'm crossing my fingers. All right, it made you that much worse. Okay, I'm gonna put your skull back. I messed around with nature too much. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna put you on the table. You're not rotten yet. It's great. The body's rotten? No, it's not! What are you talking about? It's 84% that can't possibly be rotten! Does it really have to be that fresh? Pfft, stupid. That's really unfortunate. I'm gonna go throw this body in the lake out of pure anger. I'm so sad now. It's 85% fresh. Why does... Nature have to be so particular about its zombies. So sad. Such a dis- I'm so disappointed! I guess I shouldn't have been too picky about my bodies. I shouldn't be so picky about my zombies. They're just trying to live, too. They're just trying to live their life. Yeah. Alright, then. Well, I'm gonna go put some carrots in the bin down there to get some more fresh bodies to the farm, to the place, to the graveyard keeper. So sad. On the bright side, I can put some of this... Uh, did I use blood for anything? Did, was I stockpiling blood for some reason? I was. 
Let's put the fat in there too. Oh, actually, I have enough fat to make some oil. Oil. Work, 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 work. Everybody. Work your body. Yeah, yeah. Backstreet's back, all right? Backstreet's back. Remember that. Remember that. I actually got to take myself to the town and sell a couple of things. I just remembered I was meaning to do that. So now I'm going to go there now and sell my burial certificates as well as all this beautiful wine that I have. Sell it. Sell it all. I don't need any of these. I don't need any of that. Give me all your money. All of it. 20? Ooh. Now that's the way. This is the... This is the way. I think the Mandalorian and Grogu the y Little Yoda would definitely agree. This is the way. Oh, yeah. And now I'm gonna make a bigger church. I'm gonna buy a bigger church. Really? I just want my money to go towards faith, trust, pixie dust. I love it. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, in any case. What was I doing? What did I say I was doing? I completely lost my chair of thought. Oh, I'm gonna buy a better church. Not sure why this came to mind, but um, good show. Good movie. Uh, we bought a zoo starring Matt Damon. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was Matt Damon. Building permission! Yay! Can I build a better church now? Well, oh, okay, so, all right. So I bought the building permission. What do I, what do I do with that? But I have my, government, what more do you want from me? I just want a bigger church. I gave you my money. What else do you want from me? I question this. You're making me so sad. Goodness gracious. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm gonna put some wood on this pile. Make that. Christina, could you close the door, please? You are leaking. I can hear your voice in my microphone, but it's okay. I just think I think you're on a call, so I don't I don't want to disturb it. Uh, what do I do about the bike? You can push it out of the room. It's just a bicycle. It doesn't have feelings or anything. Yeah. My bicycle doesn't okay. feel. Unless it's the I do not have bicycle feelings. Could. What? No, I don't think bicycle. Do bicycles in the Cars universe have feelings? Probably. Bicycle girls in the Cars universe? Certainly not in the movies. Maybe they're mopeds. But mopeds aren't really bicycles. There's definitely motorcycles in the car universe. There has to be. There has to be mopeds in the car universe. Cars universe. And the motorcycle. There has to be. There's gotta be. But I'm not so sure. I, for one, don't necessarily want to know right now. If there are motorcycle girls out there in the Cars universe, the Disney Pixar's Cars universe, hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. You may introduce yourself, but I will not come find you. Because I don't want to make you feel like a spectacle. Because I respect you. You have my word. And my stamp of approval. And it's a big X. My stamp of approval is literally just a Sharpie marker with like a, a cross over it. That's it. Not like a cross cross, but like you take that cross and you're like, eh, turn it to the right a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. That's the cross I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So I, I don't know how else to build. Maybe, maybe I have to talk to the bishop. Perhaps the bishop will give me the answer that I seek. Oh, but until then, the zombies. I need to figure out how to make... Growth solution. And I feel like that's an alchemy thing. Perhaps I'll learn more about alchemy if I help out the astrologer. I need restoration tools. I still have yet to figure out how to make restoration tools. Is that something I can craft? I think I tried to search last time for where to craft the, the restoration tools. 
and I don't remember. I don't, I feel like I would craft it down here somewhere. Cause like I'm restoring things to their former glory. I can craft a story. Oh, with 10 faith? No, no, not worth it. Not unless I had an excess of faith, which I don't think I do. Was it not at this table? I know I probably checked this last time too, but I am still curious. Apparently I can also make quality fertilizer without growth hormone, but flavor enhancer. Flavor enhancer? How do I make flavor enhancer? To make a lye injection, I need alcohol. Mm, that's not what I'm looking for. Maybe flavor enhancer? Cut it up here. Speed potion, acid. I know how to make acid. I don't yet have the right ingredients. I know I could buy acid too, and I did buy acid. I did. Excuse me a moment while I undo my cuffs. It's getting a little hot in here. Whew. Hot under the collar. Pull my sleeves up a little bit. Everybody can see my glorious forearms. I'm sorry. But these forearms exist. And they are here. I need to figure out how to get more alchemy recipes. I did get alchemy recipes from the witch. Clotho. Who apparently doesn't have any more goals for me? Oh, you know, I needed to talk to... Oh, I remember. Okay, I need to talk to Clotho again. Because Clotho is going to remind me what I need to create the potion for the, um... For the, um... The merchant. Actually, do I have that recipe? I, I don't remember. I... I really don't remember. I'm gonna go talk to the witch. And it's probably- it's pretty dark, so I'm gonna actually wait until I go to meditate a little bit, have some time to think to myself, so that it'll be light outside. It'll be good and wonderful. We'll do that, we'll do that. We'll go meditate for a hot second, just throughout the night, just so we can process and think about our life for a little bit. Maybe also so that Cameron can get a bite of dinner, he's very hungry. Mmm. It's lasagna. I like lasagna. Still very hot. Mmm! That's delicious. Very spicy. Spicy Italian sausage is exactly what you think it is. Spicy. And I believe there's other bits in there too. There was like... San Zarino... San... San... San Zermano? San Zermano? I don't remember. Tomatoes. Also some mozzarella cheese in there. Ricotta as well. Uh, the lasagna shells. Onions. I, cry, I chopped those onions. That was my handiwork. And a variety of other things. Including, but most certainly not limited to, in addition, spicy hot Italian sausage. Actually, can I call it spicy and hot? I mean, okay, so it's hot temperature-wise. And it is spicy otherwise. Oh, I just noticed there are crows on top of my church. Look at that. That's so cool. Hello, crows. Can I be friends with you? I really want to be friends with the crows. But I don't think there's a crafting recipe for that. Unfortunate. I want to befriend the crows. Oh, it's actually not difficult to get to the witch anymore. I just remembered I built a bridge. Hmm. Should have probably remembered that. But I am forgetful. And forgetfulness suits me well. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. <laughs> Into the heart of the swamp. Hello, witch. Which witch is which? We don't know. I've definitely made that joke before. That is not new, and it is most definitely overused. And for that, I apologize. I need your help. I need to help the merchant. Salt and health solution together. Thank you. I need salt. I'm gonna go to try to buy salt from somebody. Who would you buy salt from? Where would I find salt from? I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to the store and try to buy salt. I do not know where to get salt. Salt? Do you, do you sell salt? Salt? Salt, salt, salt? Fish soup? That's salty, but not salt. All right. You are not who I was looking for. Captain! Capitan! Hail, Captain! I don't know where to get salt. Maybe I talk to the rock dude? Because rock salt? Maybe? Is there anyone else? Maybe, do you sell things? You sell? Do you sell salt? You sell butter, cheese, milk, and jugs of milk. Hmm. But not salt. Where does one appear cures salt? I'm probably missing something very obvious here. Uh, but maybe the, maybe this guy's got it. You got salt? You sell only stone and chisels and stuff. That's definitely not salt. Okay, you don't sell salt. Think, Cameron. How would you make salt? 
I would make salt by drying up salt water. But I do not have salt water, nor do I know how to obtain salt water. Maybe if I make my way towards the water, I will find that. Maybe the chicken dude is selling salt. Anything is possible in this economy. Anything is possible. Popsicle. Let's try... Are you selling salt? Nope, that's not salt. Maybe the astrologer sells salt. What day is it? It is almost moon day. Dave? Dig? Dig? Do you sell... Do you sell salt? Sell salt? No, but you sell hemp. More hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil. You are literally a stoner, and I respect that. Maybe... Maybe the fisherman. Does the fisherman sell salt? That would seem appropriate. Can I fix this bridge? Can I fix this bridge? I cannot fix that bridge. Man. It sucks. Hmm. That is delightful. I'm gonna grab some apples down here, too. I don't usually have many apples. Oh, I got four a Oh! Now that's a heaping load of apples. I like that. Hey, fishy man. Fishy bruh. Fishy bruh. You sell, sell salt? You've got to sell salt. Somebody. What's this? No salt. Oh my goodness. But you sell lore with gems. I don't know what that's good for. You also sell lures in general. Steel. Gems. What is this? Blue fish fillet. Wait a minute. Is this quality fish fillet? Who needed fish? Somebody needed fish. I barely know how to fit. Four quality fish fillets. Yo. 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 Quality fish fillet? Quality fish fillet? But what type of quality fish fillet? Are we talking like the highest quality? I don't know. I'm gonna buy the lowest quality for now. And then I'm gonna try that. And if we need better, we will get better. Gosh, you don't sell salt either? The astrologers gotta sell salt. I would think that the general store would sell salt. Maybe even the farmer. Well, is there a baker? Is there a baker? No. Well, technically, uh, the, the tavern owner's wife sells recipes. So maybe you sell salt. Or maybe I have a recipe for salt. It's very possible I have a recipe for salt. Do I have a recipe for salt? No. I do not have a recipe for salt. I haven't thoroughly investigated the water yet. I can try to obtain salt water from the water. Salt? Water? From the water? No? Hmm. That's not working. Can I fish up salt from the sea? But let's see. There's a 100% chance that I'll find something there. Maybe it'll be salt. I have still yet to figure out fishing. Oh, did I do it? Nope. Okay. Don't bob like that. Okay. How about how about this? I want a big one. Far on out there. Go get him. I'm gonna guess it'll bob at some point, and that'll be that'll be the good good. Right? Oh, I hear I heard a bubble. Nope. Anything else? No. Nope. Well, this is relaxing. Just me, you, the lasagna. The lasagna keeps us company. Maybe I have to move this thing around. Can I move it? No, I can't. Do I click other buttons? Whoa, what did I just do? How did I do that? Whoa! How did I do that? Oh! Whoa! I don't know. Oh, maybe that one? I'm trying to figure out the button combination that I just did to do that. Oh, if I click and hold every single one at once, I can see what my FPS is. Yo! That's cool! Look at that! And now everybody knows what my CP- Now everybody knows what my uh, specs are. Look at that! Yeah. Yeah, about 14- Gigabytes of RAM? 
We're talking, uh, we're talking, uh, my, my screen is not very good, to be perfectly honest. Windows 10, yeah, Windows 10, we got that. Ryzen, Ryzen graphics, love that. NVIDIA, yeah. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Definitely an improvement on what we had before. Gosh, where do I buy? Maybe, does the merchant sell salt? It's possible. I'm like... Where else would you get salt from? Think, what else is salty? Sweats is salty. That would seem appropriate for this game. Salt and health solution. You know what? Let's not focus on that. I still yet... I still need to know how to make health solution. So let's go back to... Home. Try to make a health solution. I got health stuff. How to make a health solution, per se? That's another story entirely. I don't know. I'm guessing... Let's see. The different types of alchemical ingredients we can have is the dust. Solution. Oh, that's the solution. I have health solution. It's the green one. Alright, cool. But I also need salt. And there's no salt. Can I... Is that a recipe? Can I learn how to make craft salt? Let's take a look. Can we craft salt? What looks salty? Theology isn't salty. I don't think it is. Theology is salt? Place for burning corpses? Yeah, I already did that. That ship sailed. Nope, no salt here. Paper? Paper glop. I can create paper glop, but that isn't... That isn't salt. Nature? Farming? Any salt? Salt, 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 salt. No. I already did winemaking. Bee domestication. I love that. Strong alcohol, complex fertilizers, blending. All alcohol you make has a better quality. Nice. Maybe like, I'm thinking rock salt. It's gotta be rock salt, right? It has to be. Place for lantern, perk, fireman. You the spreading flames so you know how to increase your furnace productivity and you can smelt more. Or lantern network. Lantern network. That sounds cool. Places for lanterns. That is also cool. Smithing. More stuff, but like... Rock salt? Any salt? Any salt at all? Maybe it was like a special ore. I definitely unlocked... Mm. No stuff there. Oh, here was some stuff. Okay, stone working. Stone cutter. Coal and iron. Graphite, gold, and silver. Sand, clay... I am definitely missing something, like, super freaking obvious here. And I cannot, I cannot figure it out what it is. Sulfur. I can get sulfur and pyrite and limestone. Where? I gotta find me some of that. Zombie quarrying, fine woodworking. Nice. No salt. No recipes for salt. Maybe... I can craft it at my table upstairs. Maybe. I'm like, I'm reaching for whatever I've got here. I need salt. I gotta get me some salt. Eventually. Salt. Can I make salt in here? Salt. Salt, 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 salt. Pasta, pumpkin soup, vegetable soup. Mmm, no salt. Mmm, no salt. No salt. Ah, no salt. Ah, no salt. Does any recipe call for salt? Because if it calls for salt, then at the very least I can see what salt is supposed to look like. What does salt look like? I am so... I'm flabbergasted. I'm completely flabbergasted. Any salt here? Ceramic funeral? But I need ash for that. Flour, dough, pastry dough, sauerkraut. That's salt. That's salt. That's what salt looks like. I now know what salt looks like. It's white. And, like, flowery. Sliced meat. But no recipe for salt. How the f mm, I don't know how to make salt. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. How else does one obtain the salt? The salt of life. The salt of eternity. I'm gonna go try to talk to the astrologer. Maybe. Buddy? Hey. How's it going? No, 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 please, take your time, take your time. I've got, I've got lasagna I can eat. Got the lasagna.
There's no salt. Maybe. My last resort is the farmer. Who else would sell salt? Well, I mean, would the blacksmith sell salt? Rock salt. It's a possibility. And then there's the merchant. The merchant is like my last, last resort for where to obtain salt. Other than that, I am totally lost and we're going to obtain that. Totally, totally lost. Let's try it. Hey, buddy. Hey, blacksmith. Hey, blacksmith. Where? Oh, buddy. Are you not here? The door is closed until I have aided with... Ah, buddy. Blacksmith, where are you? I have things I need to purchase from you. Did you only come out on a certain day? There's no way. Do you really? No, no, no. You come out every day. Oh, hey. Speak of the devil. What's going on, Kreswald? You got salt? It'd be really, really dope if you did. You do not sell salt. <laughs> Alright. No salt there either. Although there's a hell of a lot of salt right here. And I also have salt here. But I cannot use the same salt. It just doesn't work that way. Buddy, Adam, do you sell salt? You would be my saving grace if you did. But alas, you are just as disappointing as everybody else. If not, a little less. I love you, Adam. You're a good guy. You just make your pottery. And honestly, I, I feel like we shouldn't need anything else in this world. Than just our hobbies, our love of the craft. If I could live with just doing things I want to do... Hey, Farmer. What's up, Farmer Brown? Farmer, Farmer Not-So-Brown? Do you sell salt? It'd be really cool if you did. I'm a salty mess. Very confused. Maybe... Maybe if I check out my distillation stuff. Perhaps in the distillation area. Let me go grab my grapes first. I, I can't actually upgrade my little zombie farm yet. So I might as well harvest some grapes and make some more wine. Ooh, this is a head-scratching kind of day. Excuse me. Oh, I only have three of the seeds. Only three of the gold seeds. Oh, just kidding. I have five of them. That's good. That's that's very nice. We like to see that happen. Crop waste. I'm just going to throw that in there. All my good stuff. Good grapes. Uh, what else do I not need in my inventory? I have a lot of this other stuff in my inventory. Um, Can I throw anything? I, I can make more nails. I can make more nails. And also, uh, I'll keep the iron parts. That's fine. Put the grapes in there. Temporarily put the grapes in here. Yo, yo, yo. What are you doing? Wait, wait. Where are you going? Buddy, where are you going? Sir, where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, you grabbed the gra- Oh! Where are you going? No, come back. I have my own grapes. Interesting. Very interesting. They pick up items on the ground. That's how that works. That makes total sense now. That, that seems appropriate. Nice. Now I have all the grapes. I can put you in there. You're not going to do anything about it. You're not gonna fight. Don't fight the process. Don't fight the feeling. Invite the feeling. Put your pinky finger to the moon. What y'all trying to do? Because there is 24 karat magic in the air. Yeah, yeah. Head to toe. So play a Look out. I used to listen to a lot of Bruno Mars. Mostly because I didn't know of anybody else to listen to, and then I really started listening to music. Now I have plenty of other options. Well, I've got more grapes now. Can I possibly make salt from any of my crafts down here? Mug of beer? Nope. Can I make salt from you? Nope. What about salt from you? No. Can I distill salt? Is that a thing? It feels like it isn't, but weirder things. Nope. Mm -hmm. Grapes. Grapes. I can make more mid-range grape juice. There we go. Make some of that. Do I have enough for more Silver Star wine? That'd be pretty cool. 
I don't, but I do. I am halfway there to some gold star wine. That'll sell for a pretty penny. Okay. I think I might as well... Well, you know... Let me think about it. Can I distill things into salt? Because that doesn't show up as a recipe, per se. But it's possible that I can distill something into salt. Maybe. Maybe, can I distill water? Have I ever... Bucket of water. Do I have yet a bucket of water? I, I don't think I've ever tried that before. I don't know if I've ever researched that. That's possible. That could be possible. Let me try that. This, this could be crazy. This could be very crazy. I could be totally wrong on this. Totally out of left field on this. But... Water, distilled, distilled water, salt perhaps. All right, now I have a bucket of clear water. That probably isn't what I'm looking for. And I can't actually use it for anything, so I'm just gonna destroy it. What else is salty, aside from this lasagna? Hmm. I don't know. I'll admit, I am like confused. But that's okay. We all can be confused sometimes. Sometimes confused eternally. Does, oh, wait a minute. I wonder if the witch sells. Oh, I don't think I checked with the witch. Oh, Colombo. Do you sell salt? I think you're my last. Well, technically if she doesn't have it, then the merchant is still my last effort. Boy, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This could be... This could be a toughie. This is already a toughie. This is completely discombobulating me. How is it this difficult to get salt? The world may truly never know. I may never know. I am not the world, but the world itself may also never come to the realization that salt should be easy. Hell, salt's super easy for me. All I have to do is cry or sweat profusely. Easy. Do I need to sweat? I just go for a run. Do I need... Do I need to cry? That's harder. I'm not very good at crying on command. Not very used to letting out my feelings like that. That's tough for me. I'll admit that. It's getting easier, though. It's getting easier to cry. Sometimes letting the feelings out is a good thing. Actually, well, if it's in a destructive manner, potentially not. Eh, being destructive doesn't really have its benefits. Previously, when I was younger, I was very that was, destruction was the way to get out of my anger. Now I do it constructively by like writing a poem or writing in a journal or streaming out of anger. I don't think I've ever been significantly angry on stream before. It could happen. I'm just waiting for cloth to come out, so in the meantime, I'm gonna continue enjoying the dinner so graciously made by my roommate. By the way, I want to apologize like I always do for eating on camera. I always feel bad about it. Something about, I don't know, because I feel like me eating on camera is like tempting for people who are not necessarily eating now. Like, what if you're going through things out there? What if you're on, what if you're dieting right now or fasting? This is not helping you. I'm sorry. If that's the case. But if you're enjoying it too, cool. Clotho, come outside, please. Or do you have a particular day that you come out? <laughs> nah! Clotho comes out whenever she darn well pleases. Eventually, I hope. Clotho? Hey, look at you! You're back! I have a question for you. Do you sell salt? Wow. 
You don't sell salt. You're kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. But you know what you do sell? All the other ingredients I could ask for, it seems. Alkali. Oh, that's just, this is expensive. Whoa. That's expensive. What did I need for the other thing? For the fertilizer? I needed... Not acid, not glue. Glue? Not glue. I needed... It wasn't any of these. I don't think. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Wow! You say you love me, I say you crazy! You crazy! Yeah. I'm gonna buy this alchemy recipe. I don't know what it does. Do I just learn things from it? Oh. So... So if I keep buying alchemy recipes... Oh, no, no, no. I, I, okay, there's no more. So, I know how to make those things now. Is there a way for me to craft alchemy recipes? Oh, that's an interesting point. What if I can do that? Where did I learn alchemy? Was that over here? No, was it here? I'm not smithing. Building? No. Not cookery. Was it back in theology? Where, where did I learn... Oh, this stuff, right? Advanced alchemy. Distillate. Distillation cube 2. Master of alchemy. You've inhaled a lot of fumes. You developed an inner voice that help you measure ingredients. You'll produce one extra reagent from any materials. But, like, how else do I get alchemy recipes? I have active questions. And most of them do not have an answer right now. Oh well. Okie dokie then. Still lost. Without direction. You don't have any salt. And that makes me sad. But I need salt and health solution. I have health solution. Just need the salt. Let me think to myself. What a wonderful world. But aside from that. What else could bring me salt? Come to think of it, why am I so fixated on the salt? Let me let me take a step back for a moment. Why am I so fixated on salt? Because I need to talk to the merchant. I think the merchant will sell me ash. Nobody sells me ash. Nobody's got ash. I feel like the Inquisitor's the person who would sell me ash, if anything. But nah. Nah, dog. Also, it's Sunday. It's Lord's Day. Let's go, let's go pray, right? It's that time of the day again. And perhaps I can talk to you about a permit? Here's fish. Oh, you're my savior. I hope that didn't sound blasphemous. Ha <laughs> ha! By the way, I forgot to mention, you'll need to get a building permit to perform any construction upon the royal lands. We got him! And as far as the permit is concerned, I'm afraid you're on your own. I try to avoid the soulless greedy bureaucracy at any cost. <laughs> I am ready to upgrade the church. Good, very good indeed. Poof, there it is. Holy shit! His house? I'm no fan of this modern architecture. Poof. There's far too much light in here for my taste. But for our modern civilization, citizens, they'll enjoy it. Mark my words, in 10 years, some of them might even learn how to read. <laughs> what a crazy time this is. Indeed. By the way, I think you should make the donation box bigger. And speaking of donations, are you aware that in order to perform a ceremony, the big church, you'll need to be a rightful citizen? Not really. Fuck! Oh, then I must have forgotten to mention it. No wonder I have so many important things in my mind. Just show me your right for those citizen papers and I'll gladly open the big church. I have citizen. Not now, my son. Screw off, dude. I'll talk to you as much as I want to. Although, I will wait for you outside. And eat some lasagna along the way. Mmm. I don't have my rightful citizen papers. No! How much does that cost? Rightful citizen? Wait a minute. No, what is... How do I get that? Wait. How do I get my rightful citizen papers? Wait. How do I get that? I thought... Oh. Wait a minute. I think I put them up here. There we go. God, thank goodness I didn't get rid of that. Could I first destroy that? I cannot. Gotcha! Good. It wasn't actually necessary. 
I suppose. Who would you ever who would ever know except the citizen except me? Ha <laughs> ha That's not fair. Think of it as a test, a test of my faith, my son. Do you even know how hard it is to find someone who reaches my high standards? Ah, you don't know, but I know. Even my brother disappointed me. But that story is too sad to be told. Oh yeah, the bishop and the inquisitor are brothers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I need you to build a cathedral here, a really tall one. And you and I will perform a great ceremony in this cathedral. We will pray for the Vimor River to be filled with water. Which river is that? The town is dying without water and I shall save the town by praying. What about building a cathedral here? Let me guess, I'll need a lot of eh and eh. What a fine intelligent graveyard keeping you up. Plus one for team. I was right about you. Uh, how many do I need exactly? Let me see. You have 30 plus 10. Carry the three, move the two. Then plus five. And then let's double it for both sides. And it'll be... Wait, I lost count. Let's just say... Whoa! That's a lot of grave. Oh, wowza. Wow, 800? That sounds like too much. Mm, yes, you're probably right. Okay, let's say 200. Seems doable. What about the town's cathedral? Why can't you perform the ceremony in the town cathedral? Well, technically we don't have a cathedral. A cold cathedral steeple collapsed during the Great Blast. We haven't been able to rebuild it. No new construction is allowed. Isn't allowed to be taller than the king's palace. But out here, we can build a cathedral with proper steeple. Alrighty then. Wow. Okay. Good to know. That's hmm, steep. But I have more faith for I have more space for stuff now. Isn't that lovely? I could build more confessional chambers. Hmm. Still need salt though. Let me go back down to my alchemical drawing board and ponder things. As I sit here weak and weary, ponder. Ponder. Oh my goodness, it's Sunday. I haven't conducted my uh, cathedral thing yet. I haven't churched yet. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. I have yet to put my stuff on the thing. Pray. Do the pray. Pray time. Pray time. <laughs> pray, do tell. Do give the words, the word of God. The word of word? Word of life. Our church is wonderful. We know. All right, well, next step is the merchant. Maybe the merchant sells salt. That would be cool. Ooh. That was a lot of donations to the donation box. It's literally the same size. All right, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all. I'm not sad, just mouth is on fire from the spicy Italian sausage. It's good though, it's real good. Jerry, do you have any updated things for me? No, okay. I feel so lost. Well, I guess to unlock more things, I have to figure out other things for other people. The merchant needs a trade license and a cure for his curse. To get the cure for his curse, I need salt. I also need the Necronomicon. The Necronomicon I can get from the Astrologer if I give him the book thing, right? Who else has missions for me? Bring back the necklace from Snake? I'm at a bit of an impasse. Get the Necronomicon. I get the Necronomicon from the Astrologer, don't I? But I need the restoration tools. Where do I get the restoration tools at? You know, I haven't talked to Snake about things in a while. Does he have information on the re restoration tools? It's possible. Anything is possible. I don't yet know what is pertainably possible, though. So I will sit and ponder again until the merchant day to see if he sells salt. And if he doesn't, then I'll ask Snake about restoration tools and other things to move this game along. Oh, it's not yet time to get up yet. Hmm. I would like search and like look up 
how to get to the goals that I desire. But like, to be honest, then there's no fun in figuring it all out. So that's why we're not doing that now. One of these things has to create salt. Maybe? No? Ceramic bowls doesn't count. Can I make more? Oh, I can make more. Maybe I can forge salt here? Nah. That don't work. I can make graphite. Mm, nah. That ain't it, dog. That ain't it. Can't craft salt over here. Is there like... Maybe there's a machine that I haven't yet built yet that will allow me to create salt. That's an idea. Fridge pallet, mortuary rack, nah. Preparation place, distillation cube, two. Different fixins and whatnot for the, uh, for the church. That ain't it. Book writing certainly wouldn't produce salt, would it? <clears throat> paper press, probably good for paper. What else do we got? Anything? Bees. Bees don't help. Compost heap. Ah. Brewing stand. No, that didn't work. None of this stuff worked for salt. Wooden anvil. Make nails. All this stuff. What is about this? Perk for firemen there. Anvil. Um, a water pump. But what the, would the water pump do with it? That doesn't seem to unlock any recipes of sorts. What about any of this stuff? Mining? Gather coal, iron ore stockpile, potter's wheel, all this stuff. Is there anything I haven't built yet? Possibly. Nah. Wow. I'm totally stumped with that. Let's try to talk to the merchant then, I guess. I'll try to talk to the merchant and see if merchant and CV has salt. If he doesn't have salt, whatever. I'll try to talk to Snake about the restoration tools. And we'll see what we get with that. Is there anything I haven't built yet? Hmm. I'm unsure. I'll admit, I'm at a bit of a brick wall right now. I'm very unsure of myself. This is a low point. This is a low point. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Oh, a body just came. I'm gonna go take get a new zombie while I still can. It apparently needs to be a fresh body. So, this is as fresh as it's gonna get. There's no way that this body is rotten. There's no way. There's no way. 99%? Okay, perhaps. Resurrection time! Ooh, electricity! And now I have a zombie. Nice. I do not yet know what to do with this zombie, so I'm gonna leave him in the corner. We'll figure him out later. Well, what is something that I want to automate? Farming would be cool. Farming would be really cool. Can I build a porterhouse over here? I think I can. Right? Zombie farm. Zombie farm. Look at that. Okay. Do I have the porterhouse yet? Is it porterhouse? I, I don't remember what the name for it is. Because I actually got to keep the zombie there. Well, to make the zombie farm, I use this stuff. That's not difficult. Some nails, simple iron parts. Might as well build it. I think it was five. Five wood. Three simple. Ten nails. Five wood. Let's make six, because we have them available. Chopping some things up. Need some nails. Gotta have some nails. Uh, the simple iron parts. I think I just needed four. I have a few of those already. Easy peasy. And nails? Do I have more nails? I do not. Let's make more nails. E nails are also easy. Let's make a few nails. Never know what you could use with more... Whoa. Never know what you could use with more nails. All right, let's go build a zombie farm. And then hopefully I can put a zombie in it. That'd be pretty cool. Zombie farm. Oh, it's a big one down here. Well, I'll put you down on the corner so that you don't bother the other parts of the farm. Now, I wonder if this comes with a port little house to keep the zombie in. All right, only, only six plots. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Craft, I can I can put things in that. I can do that. I can grow onions. And I bet if I upgrade with 
quality fertilizer. I can upgrade that as well. But I don't yet have quality fertilizer. I will though, eventually. Just not today. Unless I can find... Unless I can figure out how to... What was it? Growth? Growth solution? Oh, you know, let me let me check. Let me check what it is downstairs that I needed for that. One was blue and one was like grayish. The grayish one I might actually be able to buy from the witch. We'll see. We'll see. I do want fertilizer and I need it now. Quality fertilizer calls for growth enhancer or flavor enhancer. I don't think I found either of those at the witch. Faith enhancer, flavor enhancer? Oh, wait a minute. I thought I just gained another recipe for that alchemical workbench, did I not? Where does that go? That doesn't go here, does it? Wait, 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 I'm actually really confused. I thought I just got an alchem alchemy recipe from somewhere. I can't craft it there? Is there another alchemy workbench? Maybe I need like the alchemy workbench two or something. This is the alchemy workbench two. Huh. Interesting. Didn't I just unlock one of the solutions? Where would that go? I'm really confused actually. Hmm. I don't have a reference for that recipe anymore. Unless it's stored somewhere else? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll go talk to the... The Peoples's. The Peoples is, uh, the, the merchant. I should probably go talk to the merchant now. That's last disc effort. I, I shan't run out of time for that. That is really concerning, though. Because, like... Okay, so I just bought an alchemy recipe from the witch, and I redeemed it, and got... I unlocked a recipe, but I don't see where those recipes are. They're not in any of the tables, so I can't tell what those recipes... Like, how to make them? Actually, technically, I wasn't able to figure out how to make them beginning, because it all showed was an icon and not a set of instructions. In any case, onward to the dead horse. Let's see if, um... Oh, Hordrick, what do you... Or, buddy, what do you got? Congratulations. The new church is a big deal for our village. Or the village. Soon enough. I'll... I'll to add more rooms and tables. You're welcome. Are we friends now? D do we get anything from you? Are we at... We're just at 20? Really? Do you give me, like, a discount if we're friends? That'd be pretty cool. Where's your wife at? In the corner? That's unfortunate. How much do I need to get in here? 30. Gotta have 30. This is a fireplace over here. Can I collect ash? No. You? Can I not talk to you? Oh, I can't talk to you. You're standing right there. That's fine. What about you? Do you sell salt? But I talk to my husband. He's in charge. Yeah, I got that. But do you sell salt? Fish delicacies. Tasty and healthy. Sweet baking. Pies. But no salt. No salt at all. No, oh, what pain. Salty captain, do you sell salt? No. What about you? Do you sell salt? Do you sell anything? Do we even talk? You don't talk. What about you? Nope. What about you, sir? In the clothes? What about you with the missing hair? No. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I'll talk to the merchant and see if he sells salt. My last resort. I have the cure. Wait a minute, that's yellow. Wait a minute. I have yellow. Is this... Hold. Hold up a freaking second. Hold up. I... I have that dust. I have that yellow dust. Was yellow dust all you needed? I have yellow dust. This could be good. Maybe then he'll give me the recipe for salt. I have yellow dust. I totally have yellow dust. Y yellow, yellow, yellow dust. Okay. I got this stuff. I got yellow dust. Life powder. I got that. I've got yellow dust. Take my dust. Oh, I have to wait for my teleport stone. Come on, teleport stone. Come on. Come on. 
That's fine. I'll just walk over to him then. It's quicker anyway. Oh my goodness. Do you like more food? I would be okay, but thank you. It's oh, delicious. Oh, you're still eating. Mm-hmm. How do you like it? It's good. How good? Very good. Alfredo good or better? Better than the Alfredo. But it's missing vegetables. It's not really a vegetable dish, but... Damn it! It doesn't want the yellow pepper! Yellow powder. It's not, it's not the right powder. Do you sell salt? Please tell me you sell salt. You are the scum of the earth. I cannot believe you. Nobody sells salt. How? Oh my god. That's insane. Nobody sells salt. Nobody in this town sells salt. No, I have no way of getting salt. Oh my goodness. I bet the day that I figure out how salt, how to get the salt, I'm gonna be like, wow. I'm so dumb for missing that. This is insane. Okay. It's official. I can't get salt from anybody. Which means I can't make the cure for the merchant. I don't know how to get the restoration tools either. Because I don't know where to get those. I may have to obtain them from Snake. I think I was able to ask Snake for information on the tools. So I'm going to ask him about that. I know he needs me to do some ritualistic stuff downstairs. That might be the next conceivable thing for me to do is to go get, get skulls, get stuff, and make things terrifying. That might be, might be what I got to do. So I'll wait to talk to Snake. Maybe he sells salt for all I know. Maybe he's got like this unfathomable amount of salt towards the village and the villagers to the point where he's just like giving it away We're trying to make a profit off of it very well could be the case i don't know i don't know snake super well but i wouldn't put it past him i would expect this type of behavior not surprising all right snake we meet again i think i'm gonna call this the nothing episode the episode where literally nothing gets done because of how unclear the instructions are but how to proceed not a criticism it could be a good thing maybe maybe it's intended but perhaps i'm completely blocked off from what i need to do for a reason or i'm just that stupid which is also a possibility snake i have questions about the restoration tools I need level 40 with that. I'm still wondering about that next list. Oh my god. You have a very good reputation in your business. I wonder what could have gone wrong with Miss Charm's necklace. Oh, sorry. That was me speaking. Mm, it's complicated. I'm the best there is at my job. I can find anything. Of course, that's a bit of a shady talent, so all those arrogant people treat me like garbage. But, they, but still, they brings me their coins when they've got some trouble for me to sort out. Now, that necklace has my reputation on the line. Uh, you told me you knew where the necklace is, so what's the holdup? Hey, <laughs> it's not in town. It was purchased under orders from the old Lord Commander from the Mountain Fort. <laughs> the necklace has some kind of sentimental meaning for him. That's all I've been able to get so far. Uh, tell me about the Lord Commander. Once upon a time, it was a great warrior. He's the king's uncle, but of course, it's easy to be to be great when you're born in a palace and you have a father who loves you. If I were in his place, I'd definitely be king. But he just became protector of the North Pass, and now there isn't anything to protect. <laughs> what about the mountain fort? The fort is north of the village. It's huge, but nowadays it's falling apart. The pass collapsed when I was a child. It was the day after the Great Blast. It was the worst. But he just became protector of the North Pass. And now there isn't even anything to protect. Ha ha! Um, sir, you definitely already said that exact line before. Don't worry about it! I could try to help. Maybe I could help you get it back. I don't know how, though. But we could brainstorm. I said that, not Snake. Brainstorm is the, that kind of some kind of spell that could be quite useful. No, we can just think about the problem together and... Hmm, actually, you might be help. You can try to get the necklace with the help of the Lord's servant, the Hunchback, Kukol. 
Uh, why can't ask him yourself? We had some kind of misunderstanding. A while back, I sold him some ointment that might cure his hump. And somehow, he missed world might. He missed world might. So now it's up to you. To be honest, I'm betting you'll fail. Either way, it's a win-win for me. Okay, I'll leave then. But about the restoration tools, I need to ask a favor in return. Oh my god, you gave me the restoration tools! Yes! Sure, here's the restoration tools you were asking about. Wait, you already had them? Yep, had them when you asked me the first time. No offense, just business. Yay! Then I could talk to the astrologer and give him the restoration tools and then obtain the Necronomicon! Yes! And apparently I can talk to somebody in the North Pass? Perhaps? Let's teleport and see if I can actually go up that north. I don't think I can. But we'll try our bestest. Sir, what are you doing staring at this mound of stone? Nothing at all. Wonderful. Proceed on with your day. Staring at the stone makes me a sad, sad boy. Hey you, do you sell stuff? Shepard, do you sell salt? I don't like you. You don't sell salt. Hey, wood dude, do you sell salt? Nope, but of course, why wouldn't you? Why would you? Hey, there's a gypsy man over here. I wonder if he sells salt. I still feel bad calling you gypsy man, but that's how they address you. That's all I've got. Where are you, sir? Do you sell salt? I need to give him silverfish fillets. All right, I am going to talk to the fisherman and buy your fish fillets then. Do I have enough for the silver fish fillets? I do. I can't? Wait, what? Oh my god, I don't have enough! Oh no! Oh gosh! Cancel offer! Wait a minute, why does that... Why would that cost... Oh, did I... Is that too much? One, two, three, four. Oh, they become more and more expensive as I buy more... Oh, you! You little flubber nutter! Yeah! That's you, Flubber Nutter. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm gonna see about selling some metal to the blacksmith who might be able to help me, being that I'm short on cash right now. Gosh, my opportunity. My one opportunity to be the best around. Nobody will ever keep me down, except this one time. Ho-hum, well, we're making small, steady progress. Slow, steady progress. I constantly make slow and steady progress with things. Although, in a world of deadlines and demands, sometimes slow and steady just does not win the race. Here, buy all this. I, I don't even want it anymore. Eat them. Eat it all. Buy the nails. Give me your money. Now back to the lighthouse. So I can buy more fillets. Fillets. I just noticed how much I can sell nails for. That's like, that's an obscene amount of money. Like, 20 gold pieces per nail? I can make six at a time. I should just make a shit ton of nails and iron. Yeah, that's how I'm going to get money going forward. Nails. I'm going to do that. And it's going to be wonderful. And you're going to be there. If you want to be. You don't need to be there for the nailing. The absolute nailing of a lifetime. Oh, Gypsy Man. I have things for you. Gypsy Man. Where'd you go, Gypsy Man? Gypsy Man, where are you? Did I miss you already? Or are you just way, way, way up here? Gypsy man? Gypsy man! Wait, don't go to sleep yet, Gypsy man. I have something for you. Task completed! The trick is to use a bonfire, not a snow. Fresh air is the key! And of course, a good fish. Actually, you can use any fish, but we're talking about good kebabs. <laughs> Eat these kebabs, you'll be strong like me. <laughs> I can now create kebabs. Is that really all that I can talk to you about? That's it? Okay, no salt then? Grr! Make him insane. Can I talk to you, guard? Hey, can I go up? Hey, about Kukol. I need to talk with Kukol. I can't let you in, but you can meet him outside the fort. He goes into the forest every night to the west, not far from here. Nobody needs the mountain fort anymore. We all have to make a living somehow. What's this place? This pass leads to the mountain fort. No entry is permitted. Okay, but I can definitely talk to Kukol at the fort. Where's the fort at? I don't remember. 
Is that which way? Which way? Which way? Uh, where was the fort at? Oh, is the fort up there? No. Maybe? I don't know, I remember. Maybe the fort was over here. I do remember there being a fort of sorts. Hey, look, a fort. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? Hmm. Time to investigate. I need to meet my new buddy, Kukul. Kukul. And then wait for Moon Day, because on Moon Day, the astrologer comes out and I can give him the restoration tools, finally. Hey, fort time. Kukul? Kukul? Anybody, anybody, Kukul? Anybody? I don't know. He comes out on the fort sometimes, you say? Really? Well, I don't see no person at all. Maybe he's like, is he on my list of known NPCs now? Maybe it'll tell me what day he comes out. Kukul. I've heard of Kukul before. Nope, apparently not. Well, apparently he comes out of the fort sometimes. So... That's all I know about Kukul. Hmm. I am unsure. And very confused. Oh, can I mine stuff here? No, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna keep moving on with my life then. I suppose now I shall wait until moon day so that I can give the good things to the good man, the astrologer, a man of science. So let's bring myself back to the sweet home. Hang here for the night. And wait for sun. Wait for moon day. Overused joke. Sweet home, Alabama. Sweet home! Just sweet home. Sweet home, sweet home, sweet home. And I guess being that my new plan of getting money is to create steel, or to create iron, let's make some more iron. I don't really have a lot of iron ore on me, so actually I'm just gonna let that pass for a little bit. Maybe I have better... Oh, I should go check on my vine. My vine. My vine! I'm going to go check on my vine because I'm a vampire. Ha! Huh? I pronounce the W's as the V's because I can. Blah! That was a spectacle. But I can plant things still. That's good. Oh, yeah! Oh! I actually net profit on those, um... Net profit on the, uh, the gold seeds. That's good. Nice. Put the crop waste in there. Don't need that. And I've got more grapes. Gonna put the grapes in the basement. Gonna get some really good wine, maybe. Perhaps not. We shall see. I think there is only a 30% chance that I get gold juice from this. So if all else fails, whatever. Oh, just kidding. I am definitely 100% getting the good grape from this. Time to create 70... Or 20, 20, not, not 70. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's an 80% chance if I use a silver and that. That feels like a really good likelihood. Let's see. Um. Oh, I also have that perk. Oh, industriousness? Industriousness. How do I get the industriousness perk? Is that something I can get easily? Industriousness? Am I industrious yet? Am I industrious enough for you now? Where are you? Where is industrious? Engineer. Big guy. Where is the industrious perk? I don't see industrious anywhere. Anything? Nah. Not there. Playwright? Nah. Theology? No. I don't know where the industrious perk is. Huh. Well, I don't have that. I, I want to take the chance. I want to take the chance. I'm going to do that. I am definitely going to do that. And see if I get gold wine at the other side. There's an 80% chance. I like those odds. I like those odds a lot. All right. Now, oh, I still have some gold grape seeds on me. Shucks, I didn't mean to keep that with me. Um, I got time. I got time to go back up. Ooh, iron. Go back up here, put the grape back, grape seeds. <laughs> See about finding salt somewhere. Nah. Pretty much giving up on salt at this point. I spent way too long thinking about salt and feeling like I need salt in my life. I don't need salt in my life. I don't need it. I've gone beyond the need for salt. I don't need it. I don't need this salt anymore. 
the salt of the earth gone I don't need it I don't need it also why isn't donkey man bringing me more bodies oh because there's out of stuff oh there's a body sitting on the ground isn't there oh I didn't mean for that to happen sorry buddy eh, I'm gonna just leave you there I don't really well okay I need more skulls so I'm taking your skull out your skull is mine yum skull Yummy, 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 I've got skulls in my tummy, and everything is sad and disappointing now. Do you still have a skull to speak of? Yep, you're mine. This is my skull now. Nice! And I'm gonna throw this body, as per usual, into the water now. So if I talk to the witch... Will the witch remind me of all the recipes that I've discovered? Because that... That feels pretty good. That feels like a pretty reasonable ask. Like, hey, all those recipes that you've sold me that I can't seem to bring up anywhere else, can you remind me of how to make them? Or just tell me in general? Because I never knew to begin with? Clotho the witch? Hello? I need your help. Mel Merchant Salt and Health Potion. I got that. I don't know how to do salt. Are there my alchemy recipes? Oh, I see. I get... Interesting. So, apparently, I can buy an alchemy recipe every day. It seems. That's cool. But, like... I'm still confused. You know what? I bet... I bet... Oh, I definitely... I thought maybe I'd be able to sell, like, alchemical reagents. I don't think I can. Not this stuff, at least. Unfortunate. I'm gonna see if I can sell anything, though. Because if I can sell things to her... Oh, you know what? I was... I remember now. I'm trying to sell nails. Because nails give good monies. I like good monies from the nails. Oh, let's, let's just make 64 nails. We're gonna have all the money that we could possibly ask for. Oh, and there's also wine in the basement. We'll be rolling in the dough. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great and awesome. I'll sell the nails. I'll sell the wine. I'll sell your parents. Easy. Don't worry. Your parents are already dead. They're in my graveyard. I will sell them. Or rather, I will bury them. Rest in peace, parents. And I will sell the burial certificate. But I might remove pieces of your parents first. For example, the skull. Or the blood. Or anything else for that matter. And the wine is not finished yet. That's fine. That's fine. Let's at least sell some of these nails, or all of these nails, to Criswold. And then tomorrow is moon day! Where I get to talk to the astrologer about the Necronomicon. Hello, Crazy. What's up, Crazy Boy? How you doing? I'm gonna sell all of my nails to you. Oh, and they become... That's a good point. They become less and less valuable the more that I sell them. That seems appropriate. That makes total sense, actually. You're absolutely right. Hmm. Well, buy it. Thank you. Now I'm gonna make my way back to Sweet Home so I can talk to the witch about that alchemical recipe that she's got in her inventory and hopefully attempt to figure out how to make it. And I'm gonna investigate it this time. I'm gonna be pay very close attention to it. If I can actually grab the recipe before the day ends out. And it's possible I won't. But if that's the case, then eh. Just how it be. A little too slow. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. Potentially. If I'm actually too slow. Currently, I have not been too slow. The witch has not gone back inside yet, I don't think. Actually, that remains to be seen. Hi, witch. Please don't go inside. Thank you. I want to buy your thing. Can I buy this? Oi, oi. Or maybe... Maybe by buying alchemical recipes, I'm buying them here. None of this were things I could use, right? No, none of that. Tanning agent. I need flavor agent or something agent. Tanning agent. That's all you got. Alrighty, then. Alchemical recipe, please. Finish. Thank you. And so, all right, 
The alchemy recipe. I can equip it. Wait, I can equip it? Equip? Oh, I can use it. That's that's why. Okay. I understand now. Using the alchemy recipe. I have unlocked a new technology and got create black paint. Did I really? Now I'm going to go back to the home and see if I actually learned how to make black paint. Because part of me doubts that I actually did. It's possible. But I'm unsure. Alright, come here. Come here, table. Can I make black paint now? Lie injection. I see all this stuff, but I don't see paint anywhere. Where do I make the paint? Maybe the paint is at the alchemy table. That probably makes most sense. No, I don't... Where do I make the paint? I am very, very confused. I definitely just unlocked how to make paint, but I don't know where to make paint. Maybe, maybe that's something... Hmm. Do I need, like, a paint mixer or something? Maybe? I don't see anything like that yet. Is there no painting stuff here? No, not really. Another bookshelf to make. Trick workbench, paper, research, study table, curious mind, all that stuff. Fun things, fun things. Any, any paint yet? I don't see a place to make paint. I'm like really confused. This is something I'm definitely gonna have to look up. Because I am completely lost on that. How is it that I unlock a recipe, but then can't do it? I must be looking in the wrong place. It's time to consult the wiki! Which I always feel bad doing, but I have to this time. Black paint. Graveyard keeper. Because it's hot on my mind. It's produced through alchemy. At the alchemy workbench. Tier 1, and is used in the production of ink. The alchemy workbench is this. But I don't have the thing here. Wait, okay, so what is the recipe? There are many different recipes. There's a couple different. Oh, there's also, well, that's the crafting recipes. It's all at the alchemy workbench. You can make it with a variety of things, but I don't see the recipe showing up. Is that a... I wonder if that's a bug. Graveyard Keeper. Alchemy recipe's not showing up? Not showing up. Should they show up? Or should I just know? Or should I just know that? R slash Graveyard Keeper. Following questions that I found that when I tried to craft them, I am unable to. The ingredients are gone, but then they're prompt. Oh, not like that. One of the two glue ones doesn't work. You need both alchemy benches. One and two. I must test this hypothesis. I need both of them. You're telling me an upgrade just won't do? It's time to investigate. I need complex iron parts, five more wooden planks. If this is, if this is true, I'm gonna be very confused. Hey, look, the ghost is outside. What's up, dude? Nice to see you out here. These days, I'm not often a ghost and a guest in the material world. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the party, Neko. Good to see you all again. Are we really interested? Well, then, I'll tell you. I was elected as the superintendent of the graveyard. By who, sir? Because I had no say in that. Good evening, everybody. It's a tough job. Not all the new arrivals are pleasant. It's a lot of pressure. Poor Yorick. I feel so bad for this guy. One reason, because he's dead. But he seems so chipper. Thank you for your kind words. Now I need to return to my duties. What were your duties? Wait, come back. Oh, well. He is gone. Good evening to everybody. I am very confused. I have been confused for like two and a half hours now, but we're slowly but surely figuring out the world around us, feeling our way around this thing we call life as we know it, and I guess 
at realizing that ideally i would think that if you build the upgraded version of a tool that you can make all of the recipes with the downgraded version of it this may be the point where i get proven wrong we will see and i look forward to it but in the meantime complex iron parts some wooden planks it's great it's great it's a wonderful time Neko's going off to cook dinner, but wanted to send some people away because Shadow likes watching. Oh, I'm touched. Thank you all. I'm glad that at the very least, it's a like. And that from that, I can safely assume that I may be a tad bit entertaining. And if that is true, then that's good. That's very good. Because then I can use the power of entertainment to change the world around me for the better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll we'll start with we'll start with um, I don't know. Give Queen Anna hugs for me. The next opportunity that I get to hug Queen Anna, I will most definitely give her an extra strong one for you. She's at home naturally right now. She's doing her clinical work. She's she's doing her thing. She's well on her way to PT dumb, PT dumb like physical therapy to be dumb. This is great. It's gonna be wonderful. It'll be wonderful, wonderful. I also need complex iron parts. I do not have complex iron parts. Let's make some more complex iron parts. Hey, Meatball. Hello, also here, lying on CJ's couch. Are you on my couch? Hi. I can't see. The light is blinding me. There's light right there. Actually, take a look. This is my light. It's my ring light. Are you over there? Hey, look, you are over there. Now, Hi. with all the contrast, it's okay now. Do you seriously not see me? Well, not with the light shining in my face. I actually completely redid my setup a bit. So I actually have most of my lighting equipment held up with Legos. Because I took the Lego Vincent home. It's wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hi, I need complex iron parts. Or do I need an iron, iron parts complex? And if so, what does that entail? And should I be concerned? I don't yet know. I don't know at all. I need more... Oh, it's moon day. I need to talk to the astrologer. But what was I doing? Why was I con uh, doing these parts? Oh, yeah, astrologer first. Let's, let's do that first. Go to the lighthouse. We're gonna talk to the old dude. Here are the restoration tools. I hope these are the right tools. Enjoy your stream, Cam. Gonna make some yummy pork chops. Nice! I'm enjoying some lasagna tonight. Compliments of Meatball Girl. It's lovely. Not the best I've ever worked with, but I think they'll do, says the astrologer. I know. Seems that I have everything I need to get these pages apart. Just a moment. Want to become famous? Wow, it's the first... I haven't seen you in a while. Get these guys out of here. The young are always in a hurry, but what? where are you going? There's nothing up ahead. Gently pull the papers apart. Gently. Ever so gently. Almost. Ha ha! I still got it. Let's read what it says. Here we have three parts of the barrel. A necklace with a sapphire, a golden angle, and an endless notebook. Wow, Snake has an endless notebook. Hmm, I believe I know where to get a necklace and a golden angle. When I was... Wait, 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 there's, there's something else on this page. With my friend near the lighthouse, I should tell him Esmeralda is pregnant. His child. I think I'm going to have a stroke right now. I have a child. I... I may have... A child. Amazing. Uh, just... Unbelievable. Um, sir, what about the necklace and the... You were talking about a necklace and a golden angle right in between of me attempting to reminisce and think about the glory of life? How dare thee! But yes, yes, all connected. How strange. I might have a child. Of course, but now he's... You know, she must be like 25 or something now. That's... But still. Um, we were talking about the necklace and the golden angle. Remember that. Young man, you must help me. You must... Yes, yes. I know exactly where you can find a golden angle. I'll tell you everything. Just help me find out what happened to Esmeralda and her... Our child. All right, fine. I'll help. Let's go. How, how did you... How did you people manage things before? Seriously. <laughs> Let's think where to start. Esmeralda arrived here with a gypsy caravan through the Northern Pass. 
They can't leave because the past collapsed. I hear that they have a small camp near the mountain fort north of the village. You should go there and talk to her brother. He should be the Gypsy Baron now, after his father's untimely death. Hey, I was just talking to the Gypsy Baron about fish. But what about the Necronomicon? How could I forget? If I'm right, you used to work at the university. Ah, yes. That were the good, that were the good old days. I think my life might have even had meaning. But now, nothing moves me anymore, except the thought of my child being out there, totally growing up without a father. But now, I've known, I've known enough to know I'll never know enough. And besides all that, the Inquisition's rules gave some big, gave become untenable. I don't know that word. So in the end, I quit. Maybe you still have some connections there? I need one book. The Necronomicon. Oh, young man, I looked that. I took that book with me. Nobody looks after that magic garbage. So I decided to give it to my friend. He can't read, but he likes the pictures. Um, where's your friend now, if I may ask? Right here. <laughs> he works as a lighthouse keeper. Okie dokie then. I'm gonna go talk to your friend, the lighthouse keeper. Hey, buddy, about that book. Hi. Hello there. Do you still have that book the astrologer gave you? Skulls all over it, blood stains, I mean, berry juice stains. Yeah, it's a big fat book. The picture's ugly. I'm using it as a leg for my wardrobe. Um, can you, can you give it to me, please? I've already made a new leg, so why not? But it's a big fat book. Judging from the pictures, it must be very interesting. But I'll trade it for a bunch of maggots. Wow, what a coincidence. I actually have a shit ton of maggots at my church. Don't ask. <laughs> Time to go back to the church. <laughs> and grab five maggots for the gentleman who wants them. Ooh, it's even unlocked winemaker because I've got 20 bottles of the finest quality wine that you've ever darn seen in life. Um, Sorry, boys. I'm taking you with me. And I need to wait for the teleporter. In the meantime, I should be able to get... Uh, do I have enough? Oh, I need the conical flasks. I need the fancy conical flasks in order to create um, the other alchemy bench. And I think I just needed two of them. So let's go outside for that. I think I make them in here, right? Right? Advanced conical flasks. For that, I need conical flasks. So let's make three conical flasks. Fla I cannot speak. Oh my god. Conical flasks, go back to the lighthouse, give the man the maggots he wants. I now have the Necronomicon. All right, sweet. Now that I can talk to the Gypsy Baron as well, because apparently the astrologer totally got it in with his sister. But like 20 something years ago, he is old and senile now, but he has a son that he forgot about. That's unfortunate. Take care of your kids, everybody. Don't forget they exist. If you can help it. Please try not to forget your children's existence. I'm sure they will thank you. Potentially. Although to be fair, I don't know if I've ever specifically thanked my father for not ever forgetting about me. About Esmeralda. Can you tell me about your sister Esmeralda? I heard that she may or may not be pregnant and have a 25 year old ch child. Hmm, your inquisitor's friend. You know, I'll tell you about my sister, but on one condition. The inquisitor's guards grabbed one of our friends. She's still waiting for her trial, so she might still be released. Ask your friend, Lord Inquisitor, to release her, and I'll tell you everything I know. Okie dokie. He's not my friend, but I will try to help. Okie dokie. All right. The inquisitor gets talked to on downward facing day. Or Red Day, if you will, depending on what your perspective is. That's cool. And I have the an Economicon for Snake. Everything is coming together now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very, very good. And I have this wine, too. So that's, that's lovely. I like that. Let's go sell that to the folks at the Dead Horse. I'll, I'll always be making more wine. Always, always, always. Unless, I wonder... Could I sell it to the merchant for more money? That that feels right, but it's not claw day. So I will I will merely sell for what I can. I'll do it that way. And it will be wonderful. Wonderfully, wonderfully amazing. So, 
Let's sell things. Hey, bad luck? Bad luck still? Oh my goodness. When is it ever a good luck day for you? Can I, like, talk to you about something? Can I like, sit on the other side of the table or something? No? Okay, fine. Oh, wh what is the- What? I can't sell? I can't sell that? What? Wow, apparently I can't sell red wine. Or, like, gold star red wine. What? That's... You're kidding me, right? May okay, I guess I have to sell it to the merchant. That, that must be the case. That's preposterous. First, I can't find salt in this damn world. Now I can't sell my fine wines to the local tavern that probably overprices for onion rings? What has this world come to? Insanity. It's, it's blasphemy. In any case, I think that's, some pre that's pretty good. That's pretty good progress. Oh, conical flasks have been made. I need a little bit of water. I've got some water inside. I'll grab some water. Give me some water. Slurp. Water has been slurped. Water in those to create some conical flags. I need those. There we go. The hot wings are also a scam. They don't sell hot wings, silly. What bar are you going to? What are you talking about? Um... Uh... I don't want to make another zombie anytime soon, so I, instead, I'm going to research things at the research table to get more points. The better ones. Ooh. Better bars. Better bars. Better bars. Better bars. Is there anything that I can research that is going to give me the blue points? I like the blue points. Is there any blue point objects? Anything? 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 That, nope. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But in the meantime, how about another piece of lasagna? Oh, don't mind if I do. Well, thank you, Cameron. I'm very glad that you wanted that, because I did too. You're welcome, Cameron. We're all just trying to keep this belly happy. Thank you. In any case, now it's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Everybody knows on Sunday, 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 we praise the Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Hosanna in the highest, highest, highest. <laughs> Am I right? Come on, give me a holla. Holla to you, preacher man. Well, apparently this church is filled with ain't no holla back girls, so. But you are all a bunch of zealots, and for that, we appreciate it. Goodness gracious, I need more skulls in my life. I think I have to wait till the day to actually do the sermon. But I'll have more information. I really don't have a lot of things to research. I, I do, actually. Okay, well, what do I have in here that's researchable? Anything, 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 anything? Nah. What about over here? Like hemp? Nah, none of these are researchable. Because I already did that. I already researched them. Anything over here? Researchable? Oh, acceleration extract. Nice. I'll take one of those. Uh, anything else that's researchable? Anything, anything, anything? No, that's good for now. All right, well, we'll research these ones. Conduct research to make ourselves smart. Study table. Let's study this guy. Requires absolutely no faith at all. I have no energy. Now I do. Nice. I got points. I like points. I can study wooden planks for three faith apiece. All right. Cannot be decomposed. I saw that coming. What about iron armor? I can research that too and probably also get a bunch of red points. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What about a pickaxe? Oh, I need more faith for that. And for that, I will go upstairs because it's Lord's Day. Oh, look at that. Somebody in the confessional. What is your sin today? All right, I'm not repeating that. I. Nobody needs to know what happened in that confessional. Let's just say it's illegal. And even if it wasn't illegal, I don't know why you would. Come on, it's pray time. Yeah. There we go. Apparently, you can't have sermons at 5 a.m. People don't come to church that early. 
That's their loss. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> That's literally the current point of confession. You're absolutely right. So that nobody ever says about it. But I am not a preacher by choice. I am a preacher by force. And if you're going to tell me all your deepest, darkest secrets, you know for a fact that I'm telling the, uh, I'm telling the world about it. But mostly the dead bodies. I talk to the dead bodies. Maybe in this analogy, all of y'all are the dead bodies. Potentially. Potentially, potentially. Faith, trust, and money. That's all we need to keep the business going. Now, when I build the alchemy table, I think I might actually have to uh, make some space. Because I don't think I have enough space for it all. I might have to move my study table over. So actually, how much does it how much is a study table? Those are just regular flasks. And some simple iron parts. Uh, I'll I'll rebuild that if I need to break it apart. I think my um my conical flasks are probably completed now. Yeah, yeah, conical flasks. Nice. Advanced conical flasks. They're advanced because they're more than just simple and they're conical because of the shape. That's geometry, baby. All right, let's see about... Do I need a little extra space for my alchemy? Oh, I don't have enough complex iron parts. Wait, what? I thought... Oh. I could have sworn I had enough complex iron parts. I thought I built... Uh, I guess not. Whatever. All right. It's fine. I'll just go back upstairs. No harm, no foul. Need more, need more stuff? That's fine. Then I'm gonna go get that. That's yeah, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Look at that. Easy. Oh, I never completed it. Well, that'll do it. Now, time to go back inside. So, let's see. I actually have some good goals going forward. So, on downward facing... On, on Lord's Day, we pray. On downward facing day, we talk to the Inquisitor about Esmeralda's friend. We... On Claw Day, we attempt to sell our fine wines to the merchant. And then on Snake Day, Green Day, we attempt to, uh, we tell, we give him this Necronomicon. Dude wants his Necronomicon. Why would we let him wait? Does Necromancy really wait for anybody? Alright, do I have space for this thing? Hmm. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my God, right here. Yes, perfect. I don't didn't want to have to break things down if I didn't have to. So, if this is correct, that means that I can only build certain things at the Alchemy 1 workbench and certain things at the Alchemy 2 workbench. Is that so? Wow, I'm, like, flabbergasted. Why? Why would you make me build two? That doesn't make any... I don't understand that. Why wouldn't the upgraded version cover all of the recipes of the one before it? Isn't that the point of an upgrade? Whatever. I'll admit, I'm glad I looked that up, because I would have never figured that out on my own. I made a bold assumption that I could not go back on, and that was... Apparatus 2 does everything that Apparatus 1 does. Doesn't it? No. It did not. And I am incredibly dissatisfied. But at least it works now. I see now, though. I, I understand now, though. Alchemy Workbench 2 allows for three ingredients, while Alchemy Workbench 1 calls for two. And although you can kind of figure out the recipes on your own, by just, ing like, messing around, it, you know... Otherwise, it's, it's a thing. Actually... I do want to try something though. I want to do a couple of alchemy stuff. You know, let's let's try some of that. Let's try some alchemy. Actually, can I can I pick them from here? Let's try it. Let's do some alchemy. Let's put some life powder in there and I don't know. So if I discover the recipe, do I keep it? Let's do life and chaos. Work, 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 work. Oil goo. Nice. We got some goo. Goo's good. How about life powder? And, I don't know. How about health solution? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, I got a health potion. That's cool. And so I discovered that recipe now. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. 
Wow, that's really cool! So I bet... Oh, you know, I wonder... I can probably make uh, the stuff that I need for the fertilizer here if I just keep experimenting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I really like that now. All right, okay. Let's try slowing and health solution. Oh, this is really exciting. Finally, things are working. Goo of life. I love goo. More goo. How about acceleration powder and, I don't know, toxic solution? Nah, uh, how about life? Life and acceleration. Or have we already gotten that one? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Life and acceleration. Acceleration and life. This is really exciting, actually. I'm really into this. Okay, oil goo. That's that's fine. That's fine. Goo happens. How about toxic powder and uh, order? Order of toxicity. What do we get? Anything? All right, more oil goo. It's it's looking it's looking pretty goo. It is looking pretty goo. How about slow and order? It's kind of spitballing for things. Oh, all right, all right. We got some more goo. What kind of goo though? Let's let's research the goo that we already have. There is research to be done with the goo. Goo, 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 goo. Just kidding. I cannot research goo. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. You got me rocking and a reeling. Rocking and a reeling. Barbara goo. Goo, 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 goo. Okie dokie then. Well, that happened. Let's... I don't know. I've still got more stuff. Let's try chaos powder and toxic solution. I feel really good about this one. I feel really good about this one. Nope, it's just oil goo. That's fine. But now that I have four oil goo, I can distill that into just oil. Right? What? No, what? Oh, I need to study oil goo. I thought... I'm lost. Alright, fine. Oil goo. Oil goo. Discover the goo. It can be decomposed into oil. No kidding. Advanced conical flask can be researched with five. I like that. Nice. A lot of red points. I like those red points. Can I do the pickaxe now? I can. It's only three. Research, research everything. What else? Oh, my axe. I can research my axe too. And I'll be completely out of faith. Nice. Oh, wow, I got a lot of red bits. I got lots and lots of red bits. I like to see that. So, let's see. That has to be turned into liquid. So I think, do I put that? No, I don't put it over here. Do I put it over here? Goo! Goo, 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 goo for some oil. I don't actually want oil right now. That's just going to clog up my inventory. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board. So... How about... Uh, toxic powder. And slowing solution. I only have one slowing solution, but I'm okay with using it. All right, goo of acceleration. It's cool. I like that. It's good. I want more gold goo. I got some gold goo the one time, and I'm a big fan of gold. I like the gold. How about order and health? That sounds pretty good. That seems to make sense, right? Blood goo. All right. That's that's cool. It's disgusting, but I dig it. Uh, let's see. How about death powder and life solution? Opposites attract? No, just blood goo. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. How about death powder and the other one? The goo is actually a kind of hint system that's not explained in game. Oh... You don't say! Well, now that you say it's a hint, that makes me think that perhaps if I use... This is my methodology, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you so feel inclined to. If I get blood goo from two ingredients, does that imply that one of those ingredients actually goes with blood? That's what I would think. Come to think of it, I have blood. Let's go collect some blood and test that hypothesis. I think I just tried death and life and got blood from it so death and blood or actually i think death and blood actually give uh paint i think i already discovered that recipe let's test this theory let's test that hypothesis and then we'll go say hello to the inquisitor who is up hanging on witch hill 
not waiting for me, of course. Actually, he's waiting for me. He's waiting for me to bring beer and burgies. Which are burgers. Burgers. Burgers, my friends. Burgers, my friends. When you guess a wrong recipe, the game chooses an ingredient, then chooses a recipe that uses it and tells you what you want to mix with it. That's what I figured. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's death powder. And, oh, that's water, but that's not blood. So let's see. Ah, okay. Okay. How about death powder? And the blood? Can we put the blood in there? Can we put the blood? Death powder and blood? Let's see. Let's see. Yo! That is so cool! Yo, thank you, Kesmet! That is so awesome! I honestly am so dense that I would never have caught on to that. Although I might have, like a couple weeks from now. But that was that was good. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try blood and life solution too. Just, just cause. I got some. I got some. Let's give it a shot. What could go wrong? We can get Ash. Ooh. I've been trying to find Ash. Oh, so now I should really pay attention to the goo that I get. This is important research. This is very important research. That is cool. Well, let's see. I also got blood goo from something else. What was that something else, though? I don't remember. I'm gonna try. Maybe it was... Was it chaos? Maybe we got chaos and blood. I got plenty of blood. That's, that's not an issue. We'll try that and see what happens. All right. Oil goo. It's fine. Oh. So if I choose oil, if I obtain oil and mix that, okay. I will take the oil and mix it with the um the, the purple one. The purple one? What is the purple one? Light purple one? It was the chaos powder and oil. And maybe, just maybe, my thinking is correct. Oh my god, I just discovered paint! That's so cool! I had no idea. It gets a bit more confusing when you get the alchemy bench too. That one mixes three ingredients, indeed. You know what's interesting? I have, I have the alchemy bench too, and I just spent about an hour trying to wonder why I couldn't make certain recipes. Because my thought was, if you have Workbench 2, you unlock all the recipes for Workbench 1. But being that Workbench 1 combined only two ingredients, which is something that I didn't know until just a moment ago, that didn't make sense to me. But now, the world has opened up. I completely understand now. And now, I feel that alchemy has a much brighter future ahead. That's so cool. That is super cool. Oh, wait, wait, don't sleep! Oh, I need to talk to the Inquisitor! Uh, I forgot to do that. I was so enthralled by the alchemy that completely slipped my mind. That was awesome. That was so cool. Now that would be something cool to like learn later on. Like I wonder, I know you had mentioned that they don't actually cover that in game like, or actually anywhere in the game, but like it'd be cool if they had like a perk to do that for you. Like, like it can't all be that confusing. Like I figured, I, I realized a couple weeks ago when you start taking all the body parts out of the bodies that you can change their characteristics in a, in a predictable way. Like if I, if I take out like a brain and it changes it negative two for the worse, then if I put it back in, it goes back to normal unless I make a mistake. That was pretty cool. But that wasn't explained anywhere. Like, I don't know if I didn't just play around with it, I, I don't know how I would have known. But I guess like, that's kind of the point. You know what it actually kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, games back in the day before, like, the internet was this wealth of information. I, I say back in the day as if it was a long time ago. I'm only 23. I, it's, I'm not that old. I'm rather young for now. But, like, I remember just not looking things up on the internet and having, like, a really hard time figuring out some secrets in games. But if I ever did figure it out, like, the payoff was incredible. It was like, wow, I can't believe I figured this out so authentically. And this kind of feel it kind of feels that way. Oh, wait, will you buy my wine? Yes. Oh my god, you're totally buying the wine. He buys the good wine. And now I got all the money in the world. 
Just kidding, I really don't have that much money. But I have a lot more than I did before. And perhaps this will help me on the journey to find salt. Which is another sneaking conundrum. How do salt? Hmm. We shall find out. Actually, now that I have this oil, I'm going to keep some oil in my inventory and start playing around with some things. Give me that oil. Yeah, give me some of that. Let's go play with some more stuff. That is pretty cool. I know like, a, quite a few recipes I had went for the oil. Actually, come to think of it, I would imagine that any powder mixed with oil creates like the, um, like creates the, uh, the thing, I would think. Like the, the paint, the paint, I mean. I wonder if it mixed blood and oil. Can I do that? Ooh. You can tell me how to get salt? That would be pretty cool. I could just look it up myself. Oh, let me let me ask you this. Before you tell me how to get salt, will I eventually figure it out? Is there like a certain point that I have to get to before I discover like a salt recipe? Because if so, then I'm sure I'll get there eventually. But if this is like some weird sneaking conundrum, kind of like the alchemy stuff that I will never get to, then yes, that would be awesome. But only if you're so willing to give up such information. I understand that it's probably protected information. Trade secrets, if you will. Potentially. Oh my god, look at that! Uh, another potion! Ah! That is so cool. And I, I don't know why the powder keeps going back into my inventory, too. Interesting. And I got a freshener. Cool. Can I eat that? Um, I can only destroy it. But I have freshener now. That's cool. I should definitely build more shelves. I definitely gotta build more shelves. I should build more shelves. With all those alchemy stuff. Eventually you'll figure it out. Once you do a particular action with a body you don't want to bury. I swear, if this is going to be me having to build the columbarium. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like this all goes back to the columbarium. I'm still trying to... Now on that note... If you're so inclined to do the same exercise, but for Ash, is there a way to get Ash? Will I ever figure it out? Will this conundrum plague my brain for eternity? Because I tried looking around for Ash and I can't find that either. I know I need to burn the body, <laughs> but in order to burn, so in order to build the columbarium, you need Ash. The columbarium is the crematorium. You can't get Ash from the crematorium if you can't buy the crematorium. I'm like, what? Try a bonfire. I. Can I make a bonfire? I don't think I can make a bonfire. Can I? Mm, well, so I know that the Inquisitor burns witches. Perhaps if I stick around after the witch burning, I will get ash. That's my current methodology. That's my current thought. And I might, maybe I'm right on that. I don't know. I have no idea. Not yet, at least. But I made freshener. Let me see about building more shelves. How to build more shelves. Alchemy racks. They require a lot more stuff. I can make more stuff. But I don't really want to do that right now. I'll do that another time. But I will put some of my uh, uh, crazy concoctions in here. Dark elixir. Ooh. Ooh, dark elixir. Spooky, spooky. Okay, so now... Now that tells me more about... This stuff up here with the alchemy three... The, the... Mm, not alchemy three. What do you call it? Um. What did I just call it? Alchemy workbench two. Alchemy workbench two. That's what I was talking about. Very interesting. This just made the whole world of alchemy so much more interesting. You need the cremation tech on the theology tree. But did I not already have that? I didn't already have that, did I? But I... Then I can build the columbarium. But then I need to create the ceramic funeral urn. To create the ceramic funeral urns, I need the ash. But to get the ash, I need the stone columbarium. But to get the stone columbarium, I need the ceramic funeral urn. But to get the... It's a cichlid process. It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Then find a tree with a blueprint desk on it just below the morgue door. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I know where that is. Hold on a flip flap and flu blob. I'm gonna go investigate that. Morgue door. There's a thing down here. 
Hello, blueprint on the tree behind the morgue door. Well then, would you look at that? I'm gonna build a bonfire. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I told you. But I didn't know. I had no idea. Literally second thing I said. Kesmit, I, I applaud you. I have had three completely confounding questions during my journeys today, and you have managed to single-handedly answer and or point me in the right direction of every single one of them. You must be some sort of guru or seer or like Oracle. And for that, I thank thee kindly, and raise a glass to you. Much appreciated. But now I know that I can actually burn by- See, how, okay. Place for burning corpses. I guess it just didn't click in my head that the place for burning corpses is different than the stone columbarium. And that I should have, I guess, looked around for the correct blueprint. But now that I know how to do that, I'm gonna just- I'm gonna just continue on with my life. I'm just gonna pretend that that came so easily. And then I'm just not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna move on. We stand upon the shoulders of giants. And the giants, the giants in this analogy has decided to make its presence known today. So thank you, for giant, for allowing me to stand upon your shoulders today. I am going to cherish your memory and cherish this help by burning corpses. Which I've been wanting to do for a while. It's been on my list of things to do for quite a while now. I love that. Three hours later and now, now we're burning bodies. But we had to come to this point. We had to come to this point. I'd advise ignoring the columbarium until you can make marble ones. Marble columbariums? Ooh. Marble columns. Well, I suppose, come to think of it, I was thinking to myself that the columbarium is like that would be like the best way to get ash, but now that I realize that there's another way to make ash, then yeah, I think I should probably wait for that. Hm. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to celebrate by creating wood billets. Billets? Is it belays? Billets? I don't know. Suffice to say, I'm a very happy camper. I love it. I come to points. I come to point points where. I get like, I hit this brick wall and I'm like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I am so, I'm so out of energy and out of motivation, but it takes just the right person to come along and be like, I got a hint for you because I'm too proud to look things up myself. That's where that, that's my personal fault. If I just sucked it up and looked it up, this would have been a whole lot less stress on my head. But my mind is if I suffer through the pain, then the payoff will be ever much greater. But help is always appreciated, so I'll take that. A columbarium is a place for displaying ashes. So apparently I also need access to a dictionary. Because I had no idea. <laughs> I honestly thought, in my head, that a columbarium is synonymous with crematorium. Very interesting. I... Silly, silly me. Actually, you know what? This is the time for me to correct my correct my thoughts, right? Okay, so now let's burn this thing. Burn this thing up. Set it on fire. We're gonna watch that burn for a little bit. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I need to define columbarium. Columbarium. Define columbarium. A room or building with niches for funeral urns to be stored is a structure for the respectful and usually public storage of funerary urns holding cremated remains of the deceased. The term can also mean the nesting box of pigeons. I. This, see, this is what I get for assuming things. Assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Not you specifically. You're not an ass. But you and me. You and me. You as in, like, the theoretical second-person point of view that I am talking to. Wowza. I'm just gonna chalk this up to, it was a long day at work. That's why I feel this way. That's why I'm even more dense than usual today. But I have ashes now. That's wonderful. That's awesome. I'm 
gonna burn another body in celebration. This is this is cause for celebration. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. I'm I'm gonna go crazy. I think I have racked my brain about that for so long. So worth it in the oh, I need to make a new pile every single time. Uh okay. Wow, that's unfortunate. Can I research? I wonder, can I get zombies to do this for me? That'd be pretty cool. Or is that like a manual manual thing? It might might be. Might be. Cremation 2. Ah. Uh, uh, marble columbarium. Yeah, you know, look at that. Wow. That's incredible. I'm super happy. I'm like. I am super satisfied now. And to be perfectly honest, it's like 11 o'clock. I just realized how tired I am. I think it would be best for my be best for my head to call this a day. We've discovered so much in so little time. It has been like within the past 10 minutes, I feel like I have had more realizations than I have in like the past six to seven hours of playing this game. That is so such a good feeling. It's easiest to build a chest down here and fill it with bullets and carrots. Yes. That is a good idea. That is definitely going on my list for something to discover next time. On another episode, Cameron with an X. Nah, that's not the name of the show. What was the name of this? What did I title this one? Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what goes in ground comes back around. <laughs> because zombies, get it? Because zombies, zombies, they, they go into the ground, they come back around because undead. What goes in ground comes back around. Welcome to the party, Kesmit. I put on a party hat for you. Oh, that party hat broke. Okay, fine. We'll do the other one then. How about this party hat? Will you break? Nah, that's a good one. Oh, what a happy day indeed. Everybody, I'm sorry to say, but I am completely worn out from all that. I feel like it was just rising. I feel like the, the entirety was like, we started up here, or we started up here, and then it was like, kind of wave around a little bit, started going a little bit downward, a lot of bit downward, and then shot right back up. And now I'm like, wow. That's what I got. You know what? That, that's what I, that was incredibly satisfying. I cannot wait to take all this information and do something even better next time. But until that day, to everybody who came around and suffered with me through this, thank you all. Thank you all so much. We have learned so much today. I have learned more about myself from a philosophical standpoint. I have learned how to burn bodies. Maybe one day I'll actually learn the smell of burning bodies. I don't know if I want to, but I'm sure burning flesh has a certain je ne sais quoi, perhaps? Hmm? Mademoiselle, je ne sais quoi, little petit fromage, a little cheat. I, I don't exactly know where I'm going with that. Everybody, it's been lovely. I appreciate you all always. You are wonderful people. You are wonderful folk. And I cannot wait until next week to continue this shindig all over again. In addition to that too, my birthday is coming up. There will be a birthday stream for that. I should schedule that. I should schedule that right now. Excuse me, everybody, while I go take care of some priorities that I just realized that I had. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, twilight, whatever time it is, wherever you are, the party must continue. And if where you are observes daylight savings time, Ben Franklin, am I right? You make no sense. Why does daylight saving times exist? Well, whatever. Love you all. Peace out till then. <laughs>